Yeah. Oh, this is like so exciting, like to be a whole secret agent and secret passageways. <sighs> Check it out. So there is a secret. The Learning Company. Ah, oh, so many good games have come from The Learning Company. <laughs> so nostalgic, too. The sounds and everything. The 90s! Second class, Ooh. Shadow Hawkins reporting, Chief. I'm in. No sign of intruder. Search plan Delta Delta 2. Jules! How did you- I took the elevator. Stay sharp, you two. <laughs> She's planning something big this time. A I can feel it. Carmen San Diego? Big deal. I'll catch that Acme trader and be home in time for dinner. Don't underestimate her, Hawkins. I'll say she was the best partner I ever worked with. Huh? What was <gasps> Ten o'clock, red hat, look out! Why, Jules Argent, how nice to see you again. Carmen, it's not too late to turn yourself in. You were the best agent we ever had. Jules, I never thought I'd see my old partner resort to flattery. You two were partners? Oh, they were partners. Hello, Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, you're right there, Jules. There's nothing simple about me at all. Gotcha! Catch me if you can, Acme agents. <laughs> Oh, Carmen is. Whoa! <laughs> that. Hey, agent. Oh. Be sure to type in your name or select it from the list. Then click on the start button to get going. I, I, that was amazing. That was an amazing introduction to a game. Whoa! <laughs> wow! 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 I'm impressed. I really am. That felt like a cinematic movie. I was watching a TV show. I was immediately drawn in. I'm in. I'm invested. And do we get to be like an agent? This is amazing. Okay. She's getting away. Oh. oh, chief. I almost had her. Send for backup. She's getting away. She She got away. Now let's see. Mm. What was the name of that manuscript she stole? Something about Marco Polo's travels. What would she want with a book? Not just any book, agent. Legend has it that that book contains secrets to great power. Aha! Uh -huh. She's after power. I knew it. Hmm. If I know Carmen, there's more to it than that. Hey, what's that? Looks like she left a clue. Ooh. Rio de Janeiro. What do you think? Big place. It's not much of a lead, but it's all we have. Book your flights, detective. The world is counting on you. You've got to get that book back. There's no time to lose. We must stop Carmen San Diego. All right, let's do it. I always carry the latest technology. Oh, is this my me? Acme Field Op Tech Vest. It has all the tools we need to get around oh my the world gosh. in high-tech style. I'll keep track of the missions we're on in the journal here in my bag. I like to travel light. But I will carry the Chief Com here on my shoulder. <laughs> the Chief we can Com. Use it to get help from the Chief whenever we're stuck. <laughs> Okay, that's awesome. Oh, Rio de Janeiro. Oh. It's been so long since I was last here. So this is Brazil. You know, I aced the final test on Brazil in the academy. Did you know most Brazilians speak Portuguese? Actually, more people speak Portuguese here than in the country of Portugal itself. No kidding. Well, okay, let's get started. Initiating mission procedure Delta 4. Step 1. Commence investigation by finding clues. Just a minute. I know the owner of that bookstore over there. Carmen stole a book on the travels of Marco Polo. So maybe we should talk to him. Hmm. Wow. Whoa. That was just so exhilarating. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay. What? I, okay, the bookstore? Yes, this is the bookstore. Let's check out these books, too. We may learn something interesting. Okay. Brazil's history is fascinating. There are some pretty cool historic places to visit. Don't you think, Jules? Brazil's historic places. Prospectors founded the colonial town of Ouro Preto in 1711. Its name means black gold. Ouro Preto contains many churches and works of art by Antonio Francisco Lisboa, a famous Brazilian sculptor. Ouro Preto is now a national monument. 
that's so neat. You know, I totally miss when games were like genuinely educational. You know? I've always been fascinated by the Amazon rainforest. Maybe someday I'll get to see it. And all these 90s games, they're just so good. They're so educational and wonderful. The rainforest. So most of Brazil lies between the equator and the Tropic of Capricorn, so it is hot. <laughs> the 4,000 mi- It's 4,000 miles long, the Amazon River. How many feet is that? Can I calculate that real quick? 4,000. There's 5,280 feet in one mile, so times that by 4,000. It's 20... Let's stay on task here. There are clues to be found. 21,120,000 feet long. I can't even, like... My brain can't fathom that. Wow. Okay. Men's rainforest. About 90% of the people that live among coastal China. Huh, okay. Brazil sure has some pretty spectacular wildlife. Brazilian rainforests are home to such animals as the toco toucan. Ah, oh, like Fruit Loops. And various dart frogs. Poisonous dart frogs are brightly colored. This is called a posematic coloration and warns other animals that they are deadly to eat. Ah, I knew that, but because my first grade teacher was obsessed with dart frogs and she decorated her whole room with them. (laughs) Ooh. That's right. Carmen's a pretty infamous character all over the world. Hmm. No kidding. But I like her hat better than that other guy's. So, Carmen Isabella San Diego is one of the Brazil's most notorious criminals. Carmen San Diego's infamous activities actually span the globe. One time, Golden Girl of the Acme Detective Agency, the brilliant Mrs. San Diego, suddenly renounced all ties to good and turned to a life of crime. The reason for her Chapter sudden Chapter One: The Detective's Handbook. Don't just stand there. Look for clues. The reason for her sudden change in loyalties remain a mystery. Man, interesting. Can we knock on the door? <gasps> oh. Hello. Good day. It's been a long time since I last saw you. The lady in red is not with you? We, uh, don't work together anymore. Long story. Not to change the subject, but we're looking for a rare book. The Travels of Marco Polo, Franco-Italian edition. Ah, uh, Marco Polo, the famous Venetian traveler. The tales of his travels to the Orient had a great influence on European thought. Early editions are quite rare. I have never seen one myself. Well, have you seen anyone out of the ordinary lately? Come to think of it, a suspicious character was here. He spoke Portuguese fluently, but I could tell he wasn't from Brazil. He exchanged a book on Portuguese forts for one on Shinto shrines. I knew it! Portuguese forts, huh? We've got to scan that book he left with you. Give me the clue analyzer, Jules. Clue analyzer? You mean one of those electronic toys you're so fond of, Hawkins? Why would I have it? Oh, that's right. They were fixing it for me. The chief told me Henderson would be testing it. I think he's somewhere outside Havana in a sugarcane field. My database can help us figure out how to get there. Havana? Okay, I'll note that in the journal here in my bag. Good idea. We can just type in what we need to find in the search area of the database. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, okay, so this is where we get our stuff. Item information. Hmm, okay. This is the World Wiz database. <laughs> okay, so we can pick on any country. Oh my goodness, wow. Wow, the time it took to maybe like get all of this on one game, you know, to have all this. That's so cool though. Okay, so what do we need to type in? Havana? Havana? No luck. Maybe we should check the spelling. Didn't I see that word written down somewhere? Hmm. Or is it Havana with one N? Ah, it's one N. Cuba. Okay, okay. Sugar cane coffee and such a sugar. No. Okay, so Cuba. Acme detective equipment. Not found, not found. Oh, so we're going to. Oh, are we going to eventually find all this stuff? <gasps> oh, 
sweet. It's like we are literally living the life of like Cody Banks, the secret agent. With Frankie Muniz. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. There's one more thing I didn't look at. Oh, can we actually travel? Stop, please. Yes. Okay, to Cuba then. I may need to brush up on my oh. Spanish. Sounds like a good idea. We get to literally you travel the whole world in this or game. You could use that handy dandy translator you carry. Are oh you yeah. Sure you know where we are. All I can see are acres of sugar cane. According to the database, sugar is Cuba's chief export. What in the world? Argent Hawkins. I got the call from headquarters. Here's the device. Now grab it and go. We may be being watched. Me? I'm headed for the ocean. Cuban seashores are incredible. Okay, hasta luego. See you later. And watch out for Carmen San Diego. Thanks. Ah, there it is. The Watson 221B Clue Analyzer. It's the best analyzer Acme ever produced. Okay, Sherlock. Now you've got your Watson. Can we continue with this mission? We've got to find Carmen and get that valuable book back. So, doesn't she have a journal? Yeah. Mission one. Someone suspicious exchanged a book on Portuguese forts for one on Shinto shrines. Hall Renz wants the clue analyzer from Havana. Oh, Hawkins. I said Hawkins. Hawkins wants the clue analyzer from Havana so we can check for fingerprints. Okay, so do we need to go back to Brazil? To Brazil? Wow, I had no idea Brazil was so big. Fifth biggest country in area in the world, with 175 million people. Wow. Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> I think you need to work a little on your rhythm, Hawkins. But how about later? Much later. Let's focus on finding clues right now. Who's this guy? Hello, sir. There was something very suspicious over at that house. You know, the one that's painted in the colors of the Brazilian flag. All right, we can use the database to help us figure out where to go. What house? This house over here? <gasps> what is this? She's here, oh. watching us. Carmen San Diego? Well, if she's around, she better watch out. Hello, Julia. What a pleasant surprise, knowing that you've been assigned to this case. Still trying to prove yourself? And who's your friend? I think I'll have some fun showing him that catching me can be quite the challenge. See you around when you least expect it. Ooh, I feel threatened. But in an exciting way. <laughs> so, uh, do we go back and talk to this guy? Psst, quick. I've got the book the guy gave me. Go ahead, take it. Me? I'm closing up. He seems scared. I wonder why. Hmm. Anyway, I'm all set to scan it. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I, I actually don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, weird. Weird sound effect. <laughs> Analyst complete found. For Look, an object. a bookmark with some sort of strange design. And the fingerprints on it belong to a vile agent. That device actually found something. Hmm. Amazing. Of course. That scrap of paper must be a clue. I'll just enter it in my state-of-the-art Acme Digital Clue Storage Device. That's my DCSD for short. Hmm. Maybe Carmen gave the Marco Polo book to one of her vile agents to hide. We've got to check everywhere for clues. If we get really stuck, we can always call the chief for help. Okay. Can we not, Can we look at the book, though? Can we read the book? Is it, where's is this right here? Yeah. No, 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 the book. No, oh, I guess we can't. Hmm. Okay, where else should we look? Brazilians know how to conserve fossil fuel. Some of their cars run on gasohol, made from fermented sugar cane. Sounds like a what? great idea. You know, Carmen studied alternative fuels at one of the universities here. She was very into conservation. Oh, I didn't know that. That's such a neat fun fact. I've seen some very old Roman Catholic churches in Rio. You know, the Portuguese settlers were Catholics and brought that religion to Brazil. Many Brazilians have African ancestors too. 
I've read that you can get a fabulous view of the city from the huge statue of Christ the Redeemer on Mount Corcovado. I remember statistics that say samba dancing is quite popular here. Eh, I think I'd be pretty good at it. <gasps> oh, we found something! It's origami. <gasps> All right, now we're on to something. We've definitely intercepted one of Carmen San Diego's messages. Shinto Shrine. Hmm. Your database should point us in the right direction. Oh, I bet you were going to Japan. What you want to bet? I saw that on the map earlier, and it's origami. I bet you that's what it is. Okay, what do I do? I I'll go here. Well, let's look up Shinto Shrine. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! We're going to Japan! Okay. Um, Many people consider Mount Fuji to be a sacred mountain, and many people climb it to visit the Shinto Shrine. Shinto, Buddhism, Confucianism, and Christianity are among the religions practiced in Japan. Let's do it! Let's travel! Oh, wait. Was there anything... Wait, hold on. Was there anything else here that we needed to look at? Hola. <laughs> Attention, Acme agents. One of our informants in Rio thinks she spotted Carmen San Diego at that balcony earlier today. You need to check it out. That edition of Marco Polo's travels is very valuable. We must get it back. Oh, okay. Um, let's look at Japan. Look at all those travel brochures. Could this be a clue as to where Carmen San Diego may have stashed that Marco Polo book? Japan, the United Kingdom, who knows? She's tricky. We've got to figure out what she's up to and where she's headed next. Should I be writing notes? I have my notes here. I just didn't know if I should be. I'm going to write this down, though, just in case. So we have Japan, Kenya. Okay, and then... Uh, All right, uh, let's stay focused. Okay, okay. I wrote it down. Iguazu Falls. How would you like to swan dive off of that? I think that was everything. So I guess we can... We can go. Let's go to Japan! You know Japan has 126 million people in a space roughly the size of California? Did you know that 99% of people surveyed already knew that interesting fact? Oh. <laughs> Why would Carmen steal a rare Marco Polo book? Travel? Orient? Danger? What is she trying to tell us? What do you mean? It's rare, probably worth a lot. She's a thief, so she stole it. Plain and simple. Look, Hawkins. Carmen San Diego is no common thief. She's got to have a reason for stealing that book, and it's up to us to figure it out. We need to search everywhere for clues. Oh, but I don't have my HX3 pocket Japanese translator with me. I thought that you were always prepared, Hawkins. Hopefully we won't need it, since English is taught in many Japanese schools. Okay. There's a bunch of origami here. Mm, but it won't let me click on any of it. Hmm. Okay. Can we talk to this man? No? This is a Shinto shrine. Many Japanese participate in Shinto rituals, like festivals or leaving prayers at a shrine. Buddhism and Confucianism are among the other religions practiced in Japan. Yeah. Fujiyama. Mount Fuji. This volcano is a symbol of Japan. Carmen and I actually hiked to its summit one year, back when we were partners at Acme. Over 12,380 feet. That must be such a beautiful sight to see, this whole giant, giant volcano. I love Japanese food, and miso soup is so good for you. Oh, I Wait, love miso soup. aren't hamburgers good for you? Don't tell me you don't like hamburgers, Jules. Sumo wrestling is a very popular sport in Japan. The object is for wrestlers to force their opponent to the ground or outside of a 15-foot circle. You really have to be strong. 
Yeah, my kind of sport. Hmm. Samurai were brave and disciplined warriors, very skillful with these long curved swords. Not a good idea to get in their way, Jules. I can totally see that, you know, if you played this as a kid growing up, you probably knew so many fun facts about so many things. You probably impressed so many people. No, oh, look, someone else. Ooh, hello. Excuse me. We're looking for someone who we think may be waiting around here. Have you seen anyone that seems out of place? Ah, yes. A lady. She had something for two people who match your description. Mm. I was to give it to you after you sit and play a game. Okay. Why not? My Hanafuda flower cards. Okay. You like them? Why they not? Have a long history. <laughs> In Japan, we value nature and its beauty is portrayed in our games. Go on, try and match all the pairs. Oh wow, that actually sounds like so relaxing. Can you imagine sitting at a picnic table playing a match game and it's just like a light breeze with maybe some chimes playing in the background? Oh, but not that noise. <laughs> Oh, that one. Yeah, a bird. I don't think we've seen those, have we? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We saw this bird somewhere. Oh, yeah, this one was down here. I don't know about that one. This one here. 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 And done. Subarashi. Wonderful. Thank you for playing. You're and welcome. now, here is what that mysterious lady left for you. Yeah, show us. Oh, it's a message. Well, hello again, Jules. So I understand you and your new rookie agent have been assigned to the case. This should be fun. I love a challenge. So I was a little disappointed at how easy it was to distract you. I was watching you play your little game, but you were too busy to notice. Maybe you've lost your edge, Jules. Bye for now, agents. Catch me if you can. I don't believe it. Do you think she's really watching us, hmm. Jules? You know, I thought I saw someone by that origami display on that tree over there. We should check it out. Oh, was there really someone there? That one wasn't there before. <gasps> it's another one. You were right, Jules. Carmen San Diego was here. It looks like she left this for a vile agent. Katanas, huh? I wonder if the database has any info on these. I'll keep the note in my digital clue storage device. We need to search this area. Can you help, Chief? An RX-23 is the vile code name for a message playback device. Vile mm. agents use them for leaving audio messages for each other. They look like a small, round speaker, and they're sometimes hard to spot. Look around carefully. This is important. We must keep on Carmen San Diego's trail. Chief out. <laughs> Chief out. <laughs> oh, that's good. So wait, oh wait, I need to look at the database. Is that what it was? For katanas. K. Was it K A T A N A S? Okay, samurai were brave. Oh, it's where the swords are. And we're skilled with curves. Yep, katana swords. Well, good thing we know where that's at. This thing. Attention, vile agent X86. The second half of the solution is near the fort in Mombasa. Look for a way to travel to the capital. Remain in contact. Vile security code 225. Red lady one out. Mombasa. I'll make a note of that in my journal, Hawkins. Oh, I need to Your read database her journal. can help us figure out which country to travel to. Right. I'll keep this audio device in my digital clue storage device. No sense letting that vile agent get a hold of it. Well, there was really only five places we could travel to, so I mean... I guess by order of elimination. Found a card in Rio. Carmen's watching us. We've got to get her. If only to convince everyone at the agency that it wasn't my fault she left Acme. Carmen left a message for a vile agent. She's hidden something in Mombasa. We need to find out what it is. Oh, we're getting little stickers. That's fun. Okay, so you see, like, there's only... 
Ooh, the UK. There's only UK, Italy, Kenya, and Japan. Like, there's not a ton of places to go. And Mombasa sounds like, um, maybe like a place in Kenya. Hmm. How do I... Can I look up Kenya? Kenya, 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 Kenya. There it is. Uh, yep, Mombasa. Mombasa, a coastal city, has beautiful palm trees and refreshing ocean breezes. It is a city famous for its beautiful Swahili carvings. Mombasa is also known as the home of the famous tourist destination, Fort Jesus, built by Portuguese, or is it Fort Hayes? No, Jesus? Yeah, built by Portuguese colonists in 1593. The fort sits on a coral ridge at the entrance to the Mombasa Harbor. The fort was often attacked and was taken over nine times. The presence of its cannons show this violent history. The fort is now a museum and contains the wreck of a ship that sank in the Mombasa Harbor in 1697. Wow. So do we just go ahead and go? Check this out. It says here that Kenya has a population of 27 million people, two million of which reside in the capital, Nairobi. What are you reading? Isak Denison's Out of Africa, a great adventure and no long list of facts. Mombasa, palm trees, ocean breezes, and excellent Kenyan coffee. But we can't get too relaxed. Carmen might be- Anywhere. You're right. Let's get going. The database says that most Kenyans speak both Swahili and English. Well, that'll be helpful. Let's check around the town. And I'd also like to figure out what that castle place is. Over there behind the town. This one back here? Look! Look over there! That helicopter! Oh! Carmen owns a helicopter like that one, I'm sure of it! Agents Jules Argent and Shadow Hawkins! Come in, Chief! We think we spotted Whoa. Carmen San Diego's helicopter over Mombasa! She may have been here! Any chance of getting some backup to trace that helicopter? There are no available Acme agents in the area! It's of course not! And Jules. This is exactly the kind of situation I had in mind when I put the two of you together! Carmen San Diego is no easy catch, Hawkins. Be careful. We'll be careful, Chief. But we need to find out more about that fort over there. The helicopter lifted off from right behind it. Hmm. That book we scanned in Rio. It was all about Portuguese forts. Maybe that vile agent was researching this one. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so, ooh, what is authentic Kenya cuisine? Mombasa is famous for its beautiful Swahili carvings. Check out those around that door. Oh, I, I just feel like I would eat all of this. That all sounds delicious. Roasted beef, flatbread, oh, fried flatbread, oh. Kale and beef gravy, oh. Mmm. Look at the great food here. I eat it all. I really would. The dentist, a market. Habari. Ooh. Bananas, mangoes, tomatoes, potatoes, passion fruit, pawpaws. Mm, I love a good, like, just fresh market. You can take the train from here in Mombasa to Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. Carmen and I took the trip once on a trail of a mysterious man who was poaching endangered species. I'll tell you about it sometime, Hawkins. Travel Kenyan. Hmm. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a whole note. This must be the clue intended for that vile agent. Too bad, Carmen San Diego. We got here first. But oh. what does she mean by the three rings? This case is getting complicated. We should remember to check my journal often so we can keep track of things. Look for me behind the three rings. Okay, so... Uh, da, da, da. Carmen left a message for a vile agent. She said something in the last one to find out what it is. Okay, so we found it, but we just don't know what the three rings are. Ooh. Look, on the side of the bus, Kilimanjaro. Now that's a mountain. You can see it from Kenya, but it's actually in Tanzania. Okay, this animation is just amazing <laughs> this 3d model this buzz oh that's what all the games used to be like playing like playing them when i was a kid it's so fun mm. we have a special today tours of the wonderful 
Portuguese for Jesus, but I must eat fast and cannot leave my store unattended. I understand that. so kind as to get me some ugali? Oh, by the way, <laughs> sure. someone left this on the bus. I have no use for it. Do you want it? Well, there's some interesting stuff here. I wonder why the page was ripped out. Hmm. Well, I don't think we need it. But I'll go ahead and make a note of it in my journal. Why bother? We're chasing Carmen San Diego, not some legend of a lost treasure. Let's go find some Ugali. Maybe the database can help us figure out what Ugali is. Yeah. No, I totally understand that though. Like, I gotta eat before I do things. <laughs> Give you some energy. So, what, I don't even know how to spell Ugali, but maybe I can look up uh, Kenya and it'll tell me about Ugali. Um, Nile crocodiles. Um, ah, Ugali. A thick porridge made from corn flour. Hmm. Okay. Do we, we get it from here? Yes. Look, they have Ugali here. What is it anyway? It's a thick porridge made from corn flour. Lots of Kenyans eat it. Let's get some for the tour guide. Oh, we just bought some. Okay. Here you go, sir. I am still very hungry for some Ugali. I have it. Oh. Okay, many thanks for the food. <laughs> now, off we go to Fort Jesus. He just... <laughs> Delicious Ugali. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. The fort is also a museum which features the wreck of a ship that sank in Mombasa Harbor in 1697. So, okay, what are these? These cannons remind us of Fort Jesus' violent history. It changed hands nine times. <gasps> oh, that's the three rings. The sign on the door is known as the puzzle of the three rings. The three rings. Carmen mentioned that on the clue we found at the station. We could be getting really close to finding out what she did with that Marco Polo book. Looks like we need to move the tiles around to complete the picture. The clues we found oh, man. can help us figure out which tile goes where. Is this a slider puzzle? Oh, snap. It's a slider puzzle. I love me a good slider puzzle. I feel like a... I think I'm gonna sneeze. I apologize. <laughs> I felt it and it happened. Bless me. <laughs> okay, okay. So, really, this needs to go up here. Hold on. Get this over here and back down. Yeah, like that. Just like that. Ooh, but we're gonna need... I think we should probably move... Oh, no, it goes upward like that. Oh. So the center's gotta go up. Okay. Let me get this one over here. Perfect. Not yet. I need to swap this around. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. So now it's just a matter of getting the blue. Oh, the blue have loops. Okay. So same concept. We just got to get this loop to the left. Keeping this one in the center. Ooh, reverse. Now we're gonna go cycle this way. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Oh, that was really close. Okay, hold on, wait. I feel like we're really, we're very close. Oh, it was the wrong piece. I put that one. Oh, okay. No. Oh. oh, that was it. Oh. We did it. 
Carmen San Diego's master plan is before. That was the book that she stole or earlier. Or what? Good enough to find a rare book, maybe. But we didn't get Carmen yet. If I mm. know her, she's watching our every move. Let's call the chief. Congratulations, agents, on recovering the book. Excellent work, and... So oh. sorry to interrupt your congratulations, Chief, but I couldn't resist. Well, Chief, she took over the the, fact, the the the, the base time. Move. Not that there's that much to see, really. Enjoy patting yourself on the back for now. You may have got the book, but you haven't got me. And uh, Hawkins, is it? You don't know the first thing about my master plan. Mm. See you around. Carmen San Diego. That woman has given me more headaches than... Now, where was I? Oh, yes. You did a great job. But we've just received word of another theft. And it's got that Carmen San Diego written all over it. Wellington, New Zealand. A rare Ooh. wood carving has been stolen from a museum. A ticket to the Bolshoi Ballet was found at the scene of the crime. So pack your bags. You're off to Russia to follow that lead. I'll get that book back to its rightful owner. Roger that, Chief. I just finished sketching it in my journal. There's quite an interesting design on the cover. No time for art lessons, Jules. We've got work to do. Sweet! We did it! Mission one complete. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we just keep going forward? Woohoo! First successful mission! We rock! Yeah, you did okay for a rookie. But I'm still wondering why Carmen stole that book. It was valuable. What other reason did she need? Carmen's not like that. Hmm. Something bigger is going on. And my hunch is that we're going to end up right in the middle of it. We need to check my journal often so we can keep track of the big picture. So this is the famous Red Square I've read so much about. Actually, the name Red Square comes from the old Russian word Krasnaya, which means Krasnaya. beautiful. But since Krasnaya can also mean red, it came to be called Red Square. Well, aren't you the scholar? Anyway, mm. we're in Moscow, home of the Bolshoi Ballet. Maybe Carmen San Diego has stashed that carving somewhere around here. Eh, shouldn't be too hard to find, with me on the case. Okay, what we got? What a spectacular building. St. Basil's Cathedral was built by Ivan the Terrible about 450 years ago. Huh. They should call Carmen San Diego Carmen the Terrible. She seems to love having us chase her all over the world. Привет. Ooh, a little stand. Ooh. War and Peace by Tolstoy. One of my favorite Russian authors. Carmen used to love this book, too. Sometimes I have CDs by famous Russian composers like Tchaikovsky. But I'm all sold out right now. Check back with me later. I may have got some more in. I forgot about the, the, the little Russian dolls. Oh my gosh. I used to have um, like a set, but I don't know what happened to them. I think I lost them, unfortunately. Do you like that red doll? A woman dressed in red left that doll on my table. Very strange. Oh. She said it was for a special customer. Is that you? Woman in red? Uh, yeah, that's us. Uh, yep, we're special customers. We'll take it. What's unique about these Matryoshka dolls is that there are smaller dolls nested inside the big one. I'll make a note about this in my journal. So the woman in red left this. That's got to be Carmen San Diego. But I wonder who she intended it for. Hmm. Any clues, Chief? Our sensors indicate a high degree of vile activity in the area. Carmen San Diego may have given the stolen carving to one of her agents to hide. So this doll could be a clue to her trail. The carving may not even be in Russia. Hmm. Carmen San Diego seems to delight in leaving clues all over. So leave no stone unturned. Chief out. <laughs> Reminds me of, like Totally Spies. You know how like Totally Spies would have like the little uh, uh, mirror thing they'd open up and they would be able to talk to. Oh, what was his name? Oh, I don't remember. It reminds me. Just that same vibe. Same vibe. Oh, we get to undo it. Do do do. Oh, a key. A key. But to what? 
Hmm. Something to do with Carmen and her vile organization, that's for sure. Yeah. That must mean you think we ought to hang on to this. I'll put it in my digital clue storage device. Okay. Can, is there anything else that we can do, Goat? Behind that wall is the Kremlin. It's actually a citadel, or walled center of the city. The Kremlin in Moscow is the seat of the Russian government. Hmm, okay, and... Ooh, a car. <gasps> is this what it goes Whoa. to? What is this stuff? I think we found a vile getaway car. Oh. Whoa, an old newspaper. And get a load of this. <gasps> I didn't read about this in her dossier. Interesting. I wonder what she did with all that prize money. And why she disappeared. Carmen never talked about her childhood. Carmen Isabella Sandiego, who won a substantial amount of money from the television game show It's a Wise Child, has apparently disappeared. Competing against an assortment of scholars, the precious Carmen Sandiego... Oh, the precocious, excuse me. <laughs> me taking a negative connotation and just making it positive automatically. Precocious, my brain. That's a good thing, though. I think that's a good thing, you know? Anyways, precocious Carmen Sandiego amazed well, we're the... we're not going to find Carmen just standing around. I'm sorry, I'm you trying to read. Sort of wisdom with experience? I'm sorry. Okay, amazed the audience by winning the game show's top prize at the age of 10. Check it out. This looks a lot like an Enigma cipher code generator. Didn't the Germans use <gasps> like the an Enigma M380? To send secret messages? Yeah, they did until the British cracked the code. This vial model is some sort of password generator. Pretty low tech compared to my stuff. Still, it looks like we'll need to find the meaning of the words in the center of the dials. We'd better look around and see if we can collect all the words we need. You're right. A vile password would be quite a find. And this car isn't going anywhere. We've got the key. So, can we not just look these words up in our uh, database? Like, Niki Kupu. Let's see. Um, what was it one of them? Was Ku... Kupu? No luck. Maybe we should check the spelling. Didn't I see that word written down somewhere? Or Niki? The, mo the moa, an extinct bird once from New Zealand, laid very large eggs. The Maori word for snakes is Niki. Oh, well, there's one. His snakes. And then what was the other one? Quidad? Quidad. No luck. Maybe we should check the spelling. But that's what it said, though. Hey, we're not ready yet. We oh. still need to find <sighs> the meaning of all these words. Okay, i sorry. Apologize. <gasps> oh! Just a little reminder that I'm watching your every move. See you around. Uh, uh. It's Carmen. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. It's locked. <laughs> She's gonna get away. Quick, after her. It's too late. She's gone. No, we almost had her. Gee, <sighs> gee, we need some backup. Carmen San Diego's heading north from Red Square, Moscow. Roger that, Hawkins. All available units are in pursuit. You two check out the area. We have got to find out what she's up to. Okay, Chief. Jules here. All is under control. We'll get her. I'll make sure of that. At least we know we're getting close. We'll keep looking around here for clues. That was the funniest thing. Oh my... The cutscenes are cracking me up. It was like anime where like the, the, the background like blurs and stuff. <laughs> Gets all shaky. Now showing at this MY3 and... Which I think, isn't that the same word? If in you're done thinking, uh, I suppose we should get back to work. I literally said I was thinking and he responded. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the first word in the car. So I'm assuming that that's just, it's museum. That's museum. So the first one's museum. And then I can't remember what the other order was, but I know that Nikki was snake. Well, we're not going to find Carmen just standing around. So yeah. I guess we would have to, um, but how are we going to find the other words, though? Because I'm pretty sure we already looked at everything here. There are actually 11 separate time zones in Russia. Are there remember really? remember reset your semi-auto calibrating chronometer? My what? Your watch. Don't forget to reset your watch. Are there really 11 time zones? Wow. 
Yeah, like I don't see anywhere else that we can go. Unless do we do we travel? Ooh, maybe we'll travel. Ooh, let's go to Mexico. Okay, Hawkins. We're headed to Mexico. Mm -hmm. Do we have time to eat some tortillas? Or does your database have something else in mind? I'd actually rather explore an Aztec pyramid than eat. Mexico City is built on the site of the ancient Aztec capital, Tenochtitlan. We're to head for a nearby village. That missing wood carving has got to be very important to Carmen. But why? Who knows? We'll keep looking. But my razor-sharp instincts tell me there's not much going on here right now. Eh, Jules? Mid-afternoon? Siesta time in Mexico. Still, we may find something. Let's look around. Hmm, okay. Oh, look, that's the word! This sentence will help us figure out what the word means so we can solve the cipher in the car truck. Oh. I'll keep it in my digital blue storage device. Okay, so... Okay. Oh, wait, go back. I want to read it. So nearby Mexico City stands on the ruins of an ancient Aztec Huidad called Tenochtitlan. It was built more than 600 years ago. So it must be like a tower or some sort? Pyramid? Hey, Jules. Did you know the Aztecs performed human sacrifice from the tops of their pyramids? Yes. They believed sacrificing people would appease their gods. The Aztecs and the Mayans were two of the great ancient civilizations of Mexico. I don't know anything about Mayan civilization. <laughs> oh. Wonder what these symbols mean. It got cre creepy all of a sudden. Can you do anything? Oh. No? Okay, we can go back to Brazil as Isn't well. Isn't that acne vest uncomfortable to sleep in? I don't really think about it. I kind of think it makes me look like an action figure. Ready for action. That's definitely you. My intuition tells me oh, it's a different part. Track. Intuition? I wish they had an electronic device with intuition. I'm calling it now. We're going to come at the end to right here, and Carmen's going to be on a boat that, like, speeds away. <laughs> With Guarantee foliage, it. It's not surprising that one fourth of all the world's plant types can be found in the Amazon rainforest. Amazing. Wow, that's really impressive. Okay, let's go to Jordan. I wonder which autopilot system they've got on this rig. What do you think? Not sure. Although it's probably turned off now. We're getting ready to land. Okay, what do we do now? Time to book a flight on our global transportation system. Let's go where we can find clues. Oh, so there's nothing here yet. Hmm. Nothing at all? Okay, so where do we need to go? Thailand? I'm starving. How about stopping for Thai curries? Yum. Oh, I love Delicious. Thai curry. No, ma'am. Too spicy for my young taste buds. Can you get something like hamburgers in Thailand? Maybe in the Thai capital of Bangkok if you really had to. I'd rather check out the famous floating markets. Although we should head straight to the Buddhist temple where vile activity was detected. Thailand certainly has some magnificent mm. buildings. Look at that Buddhist temple over there. But do you ever get the feeling you're... Being watched. Of course, Hawkins. One of Carmen's vile agents probably followed us here. Hmm... Thailand has over a thousand species of orchids. Farming is the main occupation, but the electronics industry is growing. Do you hear that, Hawkins? Electronics are important here. Hey, maybe I can get an XT2000 OS26 data compiler fixed somewhere around here. See those elephant statues? Thailand itself is shaped kind of like an elephant's head, a symbol of royalty. I wish we had time to ride one. Okay. While you ride the elephants, I'll take a lesson in Thai-style boxing. You know, kickboxing. Huh. Ooh. So creepy. Do, do, we, do we just take it? Over here. Oh. The lady in red said her friends would show up. You must be the ones. She wanted you to read this. 
Uh, yeah, we're the friends. Psst, hey, Jules, you must be confused. He thinks we're vile agents. Let's play along. Yeah, we were expecting something from her. Oh, it's the missing it's page. The page. that was ripped out from that book on lost treasures, the one the guide showed us in Kenya. But why would Vile be interested in this? My instincts tell me it might have something to do with that book about Marco Polo. Curious. This guy won't let us keep the page, but I'll make a note about it in my journal. <laughs> well, I guess we should check your journal often. You said it will help us keep track of the big picture. I feel I must find a secure location to hide these incredible treasures. I'll search the world until I find it. Oh, this ex excerpt is from a diary of an unknown Portuguese explorer, reputed to have a massive priceless collection of cultural artifacts from around the world. So, you read the page? Did you bring me the nutcracker? Huh? What's this guy talking about? <laughs> well, either he has some nuts to crack or he's looking for ballet music. Check out your oh, database. Oh, we saw that. See what you can find out about the nutcracker. At that cracker. small I'll make a table. Note in the journal in my bag. Like I said, I think the cutscenes are phenomenal because I'm back in the USSR, biggest country in the world. So yeah, but funny. They don't call it the USSR anymore. Now it's the Russian Federation. Alright, just... let's keep our eyes open. Things may have changed. We need to make sure we've checked everywhere for clues to Carmen's trail. Roger. I just think Carmen it's so San funny. Diego's at large. You have Maori this wood carving missing. Initiating search procedure Alpha 4B, Moscow. You have this really funny, like creepy mu no, not funny. Really creepy music playing with this like creepy like figure that you can't see in the shadows. And then when he's like, What's he talking about? Music play fate like suddenly cuts off. It's just so well done. So well done. So can we have one of these? Maybe this is what we need to find. Do you have a CD of Tchaikovsky's ballet, The Nutcracker? Da, yes. For you, my friend, 250 rubles. Practically a gift. We'll take it. Sweet. So this is what we need to take back to him in Thailand. I'm kind of psyched to visit Thailand again. Think you'll try the curry this time? Well, not that psyched. Whoa, I'm getting deja vu all over again. You can say that again. Whoa, I'm getting... Never mind. Just be quiet and careful. We brought the nutcracker. Good. Then you must want this. Now why <gasps> would Vile Agent That's need this? for those temple Here's symbols! Something. One of the things Thailand is famous for. And look at these unusual symbols. Hmm, I wonder what they mean. Looks like that vile agent took off. It's been kind of weird how we've hmm. been mistaken for vile agents ourselves. No kidding. It makes me wonder. Could that be what Carmen wants? Is she leading us? Hmm. Okay, so now the only place we haven't been to is New Zealand. Or do we need to go back to those... No, because we couldn't do anything yet. So you're keeping I country stamps of where we visited in your journal, right? Now we'll get one for New Zealand. Did you know New Zealand's North Island has a volcanic plateau with active volcanoes? There's about 400 earthquakes a year there. Yeah. Last time I went snowboarding on Mount Ruapehu, we were reading signs on the slopes. What to do if the volcano erupts? Ooh, Talk man. about gnarly. Agent Second Class Level 2 Ooh. Shadow Hawkins reporting from New Zealand and... P.U. Smells like rotten eggs. That geyser emits some serious sulfur dioxide. All the sulfur dioxide. and chemicals. Gee, I thought you'd be used to strong smells. Didn't you grow up on a horse farm? <laughs> Anyhow, New Zealand is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, so there's a lot of volcanic activity around here. Well, this is also the land of the Maori. So we may find some clues here as to where Carmen San Diego has smuggled that valuable Maori carving. We need to check these signs carefully. Oh, Maybe Kubu! We can find something here that will help us. Oh, that was one of the words. One of the words from the cipher in the car trunk. This sentence will help us figure out what it means. I'll put it in the digital clue storage device. How are we doing, Chief? Good work, Agent. You're making real progress in decoding the Enigma cipher. I'm certain it will lead you to the stolen Maori statue. The museum is very anxious for its return. And don't forget to check out Jules' journal so you can keep track of the oh, big yeah. picture. Oh, yeah. Gotta read that. Now get moving. You've got work to do. Chief out. 
I keep forgetting to read the journal. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Did Carmen leave the Matryoshka doll for us to find, or did we get it by accident? Carmen won a lot of money on a quiz show when she was only 10. She disappeared soon after. Where'd she go? Found the missing page. An explorer is looking for a secure place to store his treasure. Interesting. Why would Carmen care about this? Interesting. So she has a lot of money and she's looking at something about a place where they hid some treasure. So I wonder, is she also trying to hide her treasure from someone? I don't know. Did the vile agent in Thailand really mistake us for Carmen's friends? Either way, we should see what kind of nutcracker he wants. Okay. Oh, what is this? Look, the initials oh, Carmen San Diego. Do you suppose CS stands for? I don't know, but I'll bet the Watson analyzer could tell us. We should scan that pen. Stand back. Such a weird noise. Look, there's a note oh. inside, and the scanner says it's Carmen, all right. Enigma cipher, volcano country, and what is that weird symbol? Looks kind of like a wheel. Hmm, it does remind me of something. That sketch I made in my journal of the Marco Polo book we recovered. That wheel design was on the cover. You keep wondering about that. What I'm wondering is whether Carmen San Diego has left New Zealand yet. I keep thinking I see someone over there by the geysers. I don't know. I don't see anyone. But sometimes I have that creepy feeling we're being watched. Hmm. So is there someone else here that's watching us then? What an awesome wood carving. I wonder who made it. Probably the Maoris, the earliest inhabitants of New Zealand. Their carvings display one of four main styles of heads. You can tell one from the other by the shape around the eyes. Did the chief mention which type of carving Carmen San Diego stole? Hmm. I don't think she did. Chief? Agents, the hmm. statue stolen by Carmen San Diego is a Karuru. Ruru means owl in the Maori language, and Karuru carvings have owl like staring eyes. That's something worth noting in my journal. You know, Chief, I just don't get it. Why that particular carving? There were all kinds of other valuable stuff in the museum that she didn't touch. Jules, you know Carmen San Diego as well as anyone. She's clever and unpredictable, and her motivations are not always what they appear to be. So be careful. Hmm. Okay. Sheep! I hope vile <laughs> agents don't disguise themselves as sheep. <laughs> New Zealand has about 18 times as many sheep and cattle as people. That would be really bad. <laughs> Carmen had some degree or another in botany, the study of plants. She probably hung out around here a lot. Oh my gosh, I love sheep. Well, speaking of steam, the chief's going to get pretty steamed herself if we don't figure out where Carmen San Diego made off with that carving. Well, I just keep thinking that there's a reason she's stealing these things that we haven't figured out yet. Oh, look, there's another sign. Wow, no snakes in New Zealand, huh? And check out those eggs. We're talking family-sized omelets here. Ever heard of an egg as big as your head? That's the size of an egg from the now extinct moa bird. Really? I can't believe that though, because one time my teacher used to have like a big giant, like it was like a the size of an ostrich egg and it was so big. Oh, it's the word. This sentence has a word from the cipher in the car trunk in Russia. I'll keep it in my digital clue storage device. Wait, no way. Is that real? Wow, no snakes in New Zealand, huh? There are no snakes in New eggs. Zealand? We're talking family-sized omelets here. I did not know that. Huh. Okay, well, we have all the words now, so we should I be able to... My... Remember what the chief said. Okay, so we should be able hey, to do this we're now. Not ready yet. We oh. still need to find the meaning of all these words. Oh, but we can go ahead and do some of them. Um, what did my dad was like city maybe, and Kuku was 
words. So, oh, that's that one that we didn't... I bet you we have to click on it like the other ones. I'll yep. put this evidence in the digital clue storage device in my vest. Oh, that's perfect. So now we should be able to... Okay. That's it. That's oh, the password. yes. We're one step closer Mask. to getting that Maori wood carving back to the museum. I'll jot the password down and keep it in my digital clue storage device. Carmen San Diego is not going to get away this time. Not with me on her trail. Not bad, rookie. But remember, this isn't like passing some test at the academy. This is for real. And getting Carmen is going to be a lot tougher than you think. Password mask. What's the pass? What is it to, though? So, okay, let's read the journal. Where are we at? Um, we found out that the Maori wood carving Carmen stole is called a koruru, a type of carving that has a big staring eyes like an owl. Um, okay, or we can call the chief, right? You're in luck, agents. The scarf may help you enter the pyramid in Mexico. Look oh. at the symbols on the scarf. Similar shapes are embedded in the designs on the pyramid stones. Okay, yeah, no, I just... I figured that we wouldn't be able so, to do it yet. Can your tummy give... It's nice to be back in the States. What are you talking about? The United Mexican States. The <laughs> sound. Wait, these symbols look familiar. Remember the scarf we got from the vile agent in Thailand? This could be a vile hideout. Hmm. Oh, what if it was? Oh, how awesome would it be to open up a secret compartment? So how, what do we do? Oh, you just have to click on it. Okay, so snake, bird, um, human, lizard, lion. What's the password? The password from the Enigma cipher. Mask. Mask. <gasps> Ooh. All right. I knew it all along. There it is. The missing Maori mask. So this is one of those Maori Kururu carvings. What an incredible piece of work. Notice those two big owl-like eyes. Yes, evidently they were used to decorate Maori meeting houses. Carmen San Diego's stooping pretty low, stealing cultural artifacts. Maybe, but could she be doing it for a completely different reason? You know, yeah. there's some good in Carmen. Hey. There's that same wheel-like design we found on the book. Ah, uh, just a coincidence. Oh, Why yeah. don't you tell the chief that Hawkins and Argent have done it again? So, I feel if you're like... you're done thinking, uh, I suppose we should get back to work. So then maybe, maybe Carmen San Diego is... What she's trying to do is she is trying to save those lost treasures from being stolen. So she's trying to get to them first. Maybe that's what it is. Rome. Wow. This will be Rome. my first time in Italy. We're going capital. to Rome, everyone. Maybe I can see if Italy really is shaped like a boot. I guess it's not a coincidence that Italians are famous for their shoes. Agent second class level oh. two Shadow Hawkins reporting. Have arrived in the capital city of Rome at 0800 hours. Commencing clue investigation procedure Gamma 4. You know, you are really funny. Attention, Jules. Hawkins. Important news. The library just called. They're grateful to get their stolen book back, but they want to know what happened to the jewel set in the book's cover. They obviously get a little upset about missing jewels. Jewels? Missing? <laughs> but she's right here. Anyhow, Chief, we didn't see a jewel. <laughs> well, you'd better check it out. Dad Even jokes are impeccable. While you're there in Rome, Agent Salerno is still undercover working near the Colosseum. Mm. Check with her. Oh, mm. and don't forget to check Jules' journal and review what you've discovered so far. Okay. Oh, wow, there's so much to look at. You know, Carmen and I investigated a smuggling operation when we were working together. Italy has produced many famous artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, and Michelangelo. What about this? <gasps> Hello. Hey, Agent Jules Argent. Haven't seen you in a while. Not since Carmen San Diego flew the coop. 
Yeah, well, I needed some time to think, Salerno. But anyway, Carmen's at it again, and I'm personally going to make sure to get her this time. Have you seen any signs of her lately? Maybe. A woman just bought all of the sheet music to be Zay's opera Carmen. She said it was a present for a friend. Could have been a vile agent. Oh, and the chief said that you may need this. What? What do I need? <gasps> it's that flashlight! That's one of the, uh, um, spy devices. A flashlight? Don't tell me you don't have one. Or is it not high-tech enough for you? Actually, I prefer to call it a TXQ Delta V12 Electron Illuminator. And no, I didn't pack everything. Salerno, is there anything else about that lady you said bought the sheet music? It's important. Well, she also bought the last of my pan pipes. Well, I don't hmm. see what that's got to do with anything. Who knows? Carmen loves music. She posed as a musician once on the Starlight case we worked on. She really got into the part. What do you think, Chief? I suggest you look up pan pipes in the database. It could be a clue as to where Carmen San Diego's headed. Oh, and be sure to check out the Coliseum if you haven't yet, because we've detected vile activity there. Chief, out. <laughs> Good idea, Chief. I'll make a note about the pan pipes in my journal. Okay. What about this Coliseum? Want to know a cool fact? Check this out. I read that the Coliseum could seat 50,000 people. Oh, like right there? All right, a cafe. How about getting some pizza? Look at that statue. When you're in Rome, you're surrounded by over 2,000 years of art and architecture. Is this true? Catch me if you can, at the <gasps> agent. Run! There she is! Get her! Come on! You want her to get away? Give it up. Unless you can fly. Oh, she flew. I almost had her this time. She flew. Couldn't you have run any faster? Listen, Hawkins. There's more to catching Carmen than just running faster. It takes brains, too. Oh, she left something. The Grand Taj Mahal Hotel. Mm. Interesting. And what about that writing? You know, Carmen and I worked with an expert in ancient alphabets way back when. He's retired now, but he was very helpful. Maybe he can help us again. So where does he hang out? Let's just say that it was the birthplace of democracy. Check your database, Socrates. I'll do that, but at least let's give him a call. His phone might be bugged. Long story. Chief, we need you to fax this note to that professor of ancient languages Carmen and I worked with. You know the one I mean? Yes, Jules. I'll see he gets it. You may be right about his phone being bugged. You should go see him in person. Get over there pronto. And be careful. Chief signing off. Oh, she said a different one this time. Chief signing off. Okay, but on this one, she wanted me to look up, I think it was the pan pipes, right? Pan pipe? Yeah. Pan pipes are another musical instrument found in Peru. Peru. <laughs> so she may be headed to Peru. Okay, okay. So we need to go. Oh, Antarctica. Nah, nah, no way. Oh, and then we also need to look up democracy. Greece, it is known as the birthplace of democracy. Okay, wow, we have a lot to, to visit. So where should we go first, Greece? Or should we go to Peru? Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's go to Greece first. My high school sponsored a trip through the Greek islands. Huh, my high school class took a field trip to the San Dimas Water Reclamation Facility. <laughs> My old friend Professor Lonsdale moved wow. here from Athens, the Greek capital. He's retired now, but he keeps busy researching ancient alphabets. Looks like he's not home. It's so pretty. What's it say? Being watched. Hmm. This island's probably crawling with vile agents. By the way, what's a hoplite? I'm not sure. Maybe we should look it up in your database. But hurry, Hawkins. Carmen may be just a step ahead of us. Okay, so a hoplite. Hoplite. The Greek hoplite soldiers were strong warriors in the Mediterranean. Some of the... 
So, this one. Play the sentence backwards. Weird. But if it's from Carmen, we'd better hang on to it. We're not getting anywhere. We would have had more luck staying back there in Rome. Have patience, hmm. Hawkins. It'll all fit together somehow. Let's check the clues we've found so far so we can figure out where to look next. Wasn't there more in there? This was taken quite a few years ago, hmm. when Carmen and I were partners. But why did the professor want me to have it? He seemed worried about something. Yeah, well, enough nostalgia. I wish you could focus a little more on the here and now. Let's get going. Dear Professor Lousdale, Julia and I really appreciate your help. We would never have recovered the last ruby without your translation of the inscription. On behalf of Acme, we want to express our warmest thanks. Oh, it's so beautiful. Everything's so beautiful. That pot with the runners probably has something to do. So then maybe let's go to... Can we just go to Antarctica for fun? Just for Can't funsies? I hope heading to the city will help us catch Carmen. It's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to have to find a clue here. Oh. Oh, she's going to escape 100% on that. 98% of Antarctica is covered by ice. Averaging wow. a little more than a mile thick. I'd say that's safe enough to skate on. Antarctica is a fragile and unspoiled continent. There are fears that development here will ruin all that. More than 40 research stations can be found on the continent. Scientists can study global warming trends by monitoring the ice sheet. Mm, okay, so to wow. Peru! From way up here... I can really get a sense of Peru's diverse geography. I know, it's amazing. The rainforest, the high mountains of the Andes, and a coastal desert to boot. But I can't see the capital city of Lima from here. Wow, this is a far cry from Lima, the capital. All this clean, high mountain air is really refreshing. <sighs> Makes me want to catch a master criminal. Well, don't let me hold you back. <laughs> okay let's see what we've got oh my gosh is that an alpaca is that an alpaca the peruvians use llamas for carrying oh, llamas. goods <laughs> and their wool for making some of the beautiful textiles you see around here oh my gosh i love a llama i recognize that that's machu picchu it's the ancient incan city that was only found about a hundred years ago congratulations on your discovery <gasps> something's here Hello, my two fine detectives. How are you? Not too much bickering going on, I hope. Jules always was a little difficult to work with. Very opinionated. Unlike me, of course. So, are you enjoying our little game? I am. See you around soon. Ciao. Man, does hmm. she always do this stuff? It's beginning to bug me. Hmm, nothing there. Interesting. All of these doors have a certain pattern on them. Seems like to me that's going to be a puzzle and come in handy later. Yeah, what's that? It's the design again. Almost looks hmm. like a lock. Wonder how we can open it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we don't know that yet. We took the bus here. Lake Titicaca on the border between Peru and Bolivia is famed for its floating islands. The Aymara people live on them. Hmm. Well. Okay. So I guess we found the clue there. The only other place we haven't gone to... Or no, we haven't gone to India or Egypt. You know, I've always wanted to see India. Especially the capital, New Delhi, and the nearby Taj Mahal. What an amazing country. I remember my first time there. It was just before Carmen abandoned Acme. And everyone blamed me. Everything seemed to be going so well until then. Or maybe she's trying to get revenge. India. You know, I thought you'd be a little more excited. What's up? Just thinking. I've been looking through my sketches of those two items that we recovered. A gem may have been missing from the Koruru carving as well. You know... From the center of that wheel design on the forehead. There was some kind of hollow area there. And on the Marco Polo book, too. Well, oh, that goes yeah. along with my theory that Carmen Sandiego is just like any other thief. She can't resist anything that sparkles. Carmen's not that easy to figure out. 
She's too smart to waste her time on petty thievery. Whatever she's up to, it's going to be bigger. Way bigger. Hmm. There's this table. Interesting what hey, it is. This design looks familiar. This medallion is very popular. Just a few hours ago, a lady bought one. Insisted she needed one. Paid with guilders, too. Really? I wonder. I think we'd like one, too, please. Guilders, huh? You might want to look that one up in your database, Hawkins. Guilders? Legend has it that this wheel design guided an explorer to a lost city. I know. You're thinking this design might have some connection to Carmen San Diego. But what is the connection? Maybe you ought to scribble that legend down in your journal. And something about those guilders, too. Someone liked my medallion so much, they gave me this photograph. Very strange. Someone tall and dressed in red, maybe? Mind if I look at this with our clue analyzer? It can figure out who and where this came from. I have a hunch it might be a key to finding those kipus. Hmm. Fingerprint match Amsterdam? Just what I thought. Carmen San Diego's fingerprints are all over it. The windmill is located near the Netherlands capital, Amsterdam. Uh. Hey, Chief, we found something, but it's not the kipus, unfortunately. Get it? Not the kipus? Kipus are strings with knots? I you're not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jules, I suggest you make a note of all this in your journal. I'll book your flights. We must stop Carmen San Diego. Chief out. Time to get out the old, what you call it? Global Transportation Scanner Database thingy majiggy. We've got a plane to catch. Hmm. Are we sure though? I haven't looked. Have I looked at everything? Oh yeah, I guess I did. So wait, how do we do that? This this thing standard. Okay, so. Oh, we never went to Egypt, but we can go to the Netherlands. We're flying into the capital city of Amsterdam, right? And then driving out to the country. You know, I've always wondered, what's with all the windmills in the Netherlands countryside? Didn't you know? They were mostly used for pumping out water from the Palders, the land the Dutch reclaimed from the sea. Half of the land is actually below sea level. Oh, I didn't know that. The Netherlands, land of tulips and windmills, huh? Well, oh, there's a flower and a note. Produce over 2,000 varieties. A red rose. Let me guess whose favorite color is red. But the question is, did Carmen leave this for us or for someone from Vile? Either way, we should find out where Quechuas live. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can remember how to spell that. It was... No luck. Maybe we should Let me let me write it down. So it's K Chu Oz. K Chu Oz. Oh I can remember that, right? K Chu Oz. Yeah. Ah Still living in Peru included K Chua and Eurus. Hmm. Oh, I didn't think we were gonna be able to go inside. Now to scan the interior with my electron illuminator. Please, just call it a flashlight. <laughs> I mean, it's so tiny. How am I supposed to see anything? All right, let's stay focused. Oh, we're trying. Look there. Acme oh. agents are fair game for Carmen? Ah, the first letters of each word are colored. This has got to be a mm. note from Carmen San Diego to one of her vile cronies. But I'll bet there's more to this message than meets the eye. Maybe the database can help with some of the clues. Hawkins, I think you're starting to understand Carmen's style. I totally bet you these colored letters. I guarantee you that those are the notes for that organ that we saw earlier. Uh, where was that organ at? Uh, was it 
Peru? What I wouldn't give for a hamburger right now. Let's find some clues. Wonder if Ms. Carmen San Diego's missing the panpipes yet. Oh well, she could always take up the accordion instead. Oh. Yeah, how do we use this though? Hmm. Wonder if Ms. Is there any way we can put this back in to do it? Looks like Carmen may be near somewhere. Where has she stabbed those? Quip, quip. This? Hmm. So we have some pan pipes, but where where else would we use that at? Let's also let's talk to the chief. Here's what you need to do. Go to the correct door specified by the note from the windmill. Follow ah. the instructions in the translated note and use the first letter of each word in the sentence to play the melody on the pan pipe. Right. That's what I figured. Okay, okay, so you have to go to a certain Did door. You? But how do you know what door? I guess by the color? Is it by the color? I've used a sound activated lock and hidden the item near Machu Picchu. The door is marked with the national colors of the country, but don't go to the door with the charango. Oh, maybe I should read the message. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should do that. Okay, so the national colors are white and red. Um... Ancient Incas also kept detailed records with knotted colored strings called quipus. Um, each knot or color on a string represented a number or an object. Um, da -da 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 -da. Ah, a charang charango, charango. That's a guitar. So don't go to the guitar. Go to this okay. one. The lock is sound ah. activated, so we need to use the clues to figure out what tune to play. We can always reset if we make a mistake. And it says play the sentence backwards, so it would have to be C, F, G, F, A, A, A. Oh, oh it's that thing that we just read about. The Kipus. We did it again. The ancient Incan system for keeping records. Each knot or color had a significance, representing a number or object. The museum will be glad to have them back. But do you see what I see? It's the same I symbol. I see that Carmen San Diego's stealing all this stuff, and we keep finding it. Yes, but look at the metal device that all the kipus are attached to. Wait, let me guess. There's a gem missing from the center. Mm -hmm. Carmen San Diego's not really after the items. She's a jewel thief. I can't wait to tell the chief what I've discovered. Congratulations, agents. You found the Kipus. Any luck in tracking down the missing gem? Not yet, but I have figured out that the book, the carving, and the Kipu holder may all be missing a jewel. Not to mention the fact that the same symbol has appeared on each one. Mm -hmm. You think this has got something to do with Carmen San Diego's reason for stealing these things? Interesting, Jules. But you don't have enough evidence yet. No, but my intuition tells me we may soon. That symbol seems linked to the legend of an explorer, a great treasure and a lost city. So she must have the Sounds treasure. Like just the kind she of found it. Carmen can't resist. Well, this may be something else she can't resist. I'm just getting word from Tokyo of the theft of a rare musical instrument, a moko. It's a gong, shaped like a hmm. fish with the head of a dragon. She may... She may be watching your every move. Surprise, Chief? It's just too easy to intercept acne transmissions. Well, Jules, you and Gadget Man have done pretty well considering. I'll have you going in circles this time. I can't wait. See you soon. Mm. Ugh, I hate it when she does that. 
We have got to upgrade our software. <laughs> Going in circles, huh? I'll show her. Calm down, Hawkins. You'll overheat your transistors. Chief, can you track that transmission? I'm already on it. She called from a plaza near the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec. Get your tickets and get going. We must stop Carmen San Diego. Woo! We did it. Mission three down. I'm so excited to get back to Ooh, Canada. Canada. When I was a kid, we used to go camping in the Canadian Rockies. Just think, Canada and the U.S. share a border that's over 5,000 miles long. Yeah, that's something. The longest border between two countries in the world, right? That's almost the size of the Amazon River. 4,000 miles. Well, even though Ottawa is the capital of Canada, Quebec City is a very popular place, even when it's this cold. And most of the people in Quebec have French ancestry, don't they? Anyhow, the chief said this is where Carmen San Diego's transmission came from. Let's get moving to stay warm. And keep our eyes peeled for clues as to where that Moko Gong has been stashed. That's an mm. interesting wolf statue over there. We yeah, let's go look at oh, it. Oh, yes, I remember. Carmen always used to talk about her concerns for the environment. Well, she's not very concerned about us, that's for sure. What is this? What is this? Well, that's what sure I just said. A strange note. It makes me think it's got <laughs> something to do with Carmen, though. It's so near her plaque on the wolf statue. The golden thinking, lion Jules. is the Let's leader. Let's hang on to it. Maybe it'll help us track down that fish gong. Hmm. Okay, what else can we look at? Oh, that's really pretty. What is this? Le Chateau Frontenac. It's one of Quebec City's most famous landmarks. Yep. Named for the first French governor of the city. It mm. was built in 1893 by the Canadian Pacific Railway. Oh, My that's parents very used to love staying there. I seem to remember that Carmen hung out there, too. That's beautiful, yeah. The envelope's empty, but what do you suppose this word means? Look it up. Didn't I read in your Acme profile that you're a linguistics expert? We all have our strengths, Hawkins. And I do try to pick up some language in my travels. Something tells me that's a Zulu word. I'll note it in my journal. Hmm. But checking your database might help us find out where it's from. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at the database real quick. Do I look up talking translator? Or do I look up the word? Nikonyama? No luck. Maybe we should check the spelling. Didn't I see that word written down somewhere? Hmm. Konnichiwa. It... Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I looked at the word, but maybe there's something in Japan about it. Well, no, because I looked up the word. It didn't didn't show, did it? <laughs> That's so fun to read. Pop a tape into your VCR. <laughs> Oh man, those were the days. Tapes and VCR. Actually, I think I have some tapes with me. So actually, um, a friend recently gave me uh, his old uh, VCR because he knew that I, I love old things. And so he gave it to me, which is amazing because now I just need to find a TV I can hook it up to. I can watch all my VHS tapes. Ta-da! Ta da! <laughs> oh man, those those were just good times, fun times. Okay, so obviously it wasn't. I looked and it wasn't there. This phone is out of order. Maybe it'll be fixed later. Ah, so we will use that later. I see. Ooh. Hmm. St. Louis Carousel. Okay. Eighty percent of the people in Quebec have French ancestry. So I guess that means I better check the translator in my database and brush up on my French. Hmm. Okay. So I don't see anything else. Let's see where else we can travel to. Canada, France, Russia, China, and the Wow, we can go so many places. Let's go to France. Have you ever been to Paris before? L no. I always wanted to though. Wow, so this is Paris. I can't believe that I've never visited the capital of France before. Yeah, so French. Well, the locals pronounce it Paris. 
Paris. Paris. We need to be careful. Okay, Mademoiselle Carmen San Diego. If you're here, we'll track you down. Okay, let's look around. Let's see what we got. So many famous French painters. Hmm. Nothing there. I've got lots of great books here. What you got? Hmm, I can't seem to click on anything right now. Maybe we'll go later. Let's go after him. He's <gasps> guilty of something. What is it? Who? Hold on, Hawkins. You have perfected the art of jumping to conclusions. Chief, does Agni have any other agents in the area? We've got a suspect on the left bank of the Seine across from the Notre Dame Cathedral. We've got two agents nearby. I'll notify them immediately. Any idea as to who it may be? Not sure. He left a painting that we're going to check out. It may be a clue in finding that gong. A painting? So what? Let's get after that thief. Don't you see something familiar about it? There's that wheel design again. This painting doesn't look like a city in France. Where is this place? Hey, Jules, don't get discouraged. That's where what you call my toys come in handy. Clue analyzer ready. That happened so suddenly that I was like so unprepared. Jerusalem. It's a street in Jerusalem. Hmm. That will be. A Hello. Paris has tons of outdoor cafes. Okay, let's go. Let's go to Israel. I've always wanted to visit Israel. What? So, back in Jerusalem, the capital uh. of Israel. Christian, Muslim, and Jewish people all consider this holy ground. I remember getting some excellent falafel last time I was here. Isn't that made from ground chickpeas? A burger would be more up my alley. Speaking of alleys, you know, it feels like these walls have eyes. Carmen could be here watching our every move. Let's find out. Actually, I was going to say, isn't this one of those listening devices? Attention, vile agent X-77. All pieces are secure. I've placed the lock device near Victoria and Alfred. Make sure the MoCo is hidden in security area Q3. Red Lady over and out. Score! Another vile message from the Carmen San Diego. It sounds like the MoCo gong is being stashed somewhere. If only we knew where security area Q3 was. We'll have to think like Carmen in order to follow her trail. Now, what did she mean by Victoria and Alfred? Like Queen Those Victoria? Sound familiar. I'd better note them in my journal. Hmm. It's a thrill to be in such an ancient city. Okay, let's see where the I don't know if that's what she what she meant by that or not. Um, let's read her the journal. Mission 4. Found a letter in the snow, but only the Zulu word Ganyama is legible in the address could it be a clue as to where the stolen fish gong has been hidden we found a vile message device in jerusalem alleyway carmen said she's placed something near victoria and alfred who or what are they well i guess we just keep on traveling let's go to do, 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 do. let's go back to peru you know, it kind of irks me that we're not allowed to run our electronic gadgets during takeoff or landing all right so we took a wrong turn let's get out of here so then we're not supposed to come here maybe what about Russia? What are you reading? So what do you think? Let's head Ooh. somewhere else. No clues here this time. That's pretty though. The lake's surface is frozen solid from around January to May. Huh. Nothing else here though. Okay. What about China? What does your cat do while you're jetting around the world on a case? Same thing as always. Sleeps, eats, and all the rest. Oh well, we tried. Yep. Now let's try another location. Wow. It's so cool to see everything all at once. Just nothing, huh? Have you noticed how 
Okay, what about Indonesia? Did you know that Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago? Archipelago? What's that? Archipelago. Like the world's largest uh, unaccompanied singing group? I think you're thinking of a cappella. <laughs> That's literally what Are I thought of too. Me? Don't forget, I graduated top of my class too, Jules. An archipelago is an island chain. You were scaring me there. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, don't they have Komodo dragons Whoa. in the Republic of Indonesia? If I were the world's largest living reptile, there are prettier places to live on these islands than this cave. Whoa, whoa, whoa this is so cool. Oh, time to look again. I found it. Another one. What yes. do you think it means? I don't know. But the way Carmen works, we shouldn't discount anything we find. You know, Jules, I'm starting to think that you may be right about these things. So it seems like to me that we're going to have to put these tiles in a certain order or something. Maybe like a logical order. There wasn't anything else I had to find, was it? Or was that it? I guess that was it, huh? All right. Only other place that we haven't been is South this Africa. This is so weird. Did you know that South Africa has three capitals? Their system of government was set up by the British. But why three? Isn't one enough? Well, Cape Town is legislative, where they make laws. Pretoria is the administrative capital. Oh. And Bloemfontein is the judicial. You know, for their courts. That's really, really cool. Cape Town is unbelievable. I thought you'd like it here. That flat mountain over there must be Table Mountain, right? Yeah. For hundreds of years, it's been a landmark for sailors rounding the southern coast of Africa. The waterfront looks like a good place to sniff out some clues. The sort of place Carmen San Diego might hang out. Hmm. Well, let's see what kind of clothes we can buy. And there's a rope here, but I guess it's Cape not Cape Town's important. harbor. According to my briefing, this is a secret Acme field office. Really? <gasps> a new device! The Acme XM1 call tracking device. No successful agent should ever be without one. I'll make room for this in my vest for sure. Sweet. No, wait, what does it do though? Oh, wrong one. This one? No. This one. <laughs> Maxfield tracking device. Ooh, that sounds super cool. So we'll get to track something. Look at the top of the carousel. I that knew it. Again. Carmen loves these kinds of puzzles. This has got to be something we need to complete. But I don't think we have all the pieces yet. It's like a logic puzzle. I just said that. Yes. Those are my favorite kinds of ones. Okay, so we know that that's where we have to do the puzzle. Is there maybe any other place that we may find those at? The Victoria. He'll call you at the phone booth near the Chateau Frontenac. 7 o'clock p.m. Be there. That's Carmen San Diego. I know it. We gotta break the door down. Hold on, Hawkins. You have no idea what you might be walking into. It might be a trap. Write down the message, but don't touch that door. We may hear something else important. Well, at least let's try to intercept that call. We can use that Acme XM1 tracking device. Oh yeah. It's Carmen. What did I tell you? Chief, we spotted her again. Chopper heading north from Cape Town Waterfront. Roger that, Hawkins. We'll try and follow her on our scopes. Man, one of these days. What were you thinking, Jules? Did you want her to get away? Well, maybe it's just as well she did. I'm counting on her leading us to something a lot bigger than we can imagine. She's just playing games with us. I can't wait to see her safely behind bars. Unfortunately, Hawkins, it may not be any time soon. Her helicopter mysteriously disappeared from our radar somewhere north of Table Mountain. Keep following her Table trail. Mountain. Finding that Moko Gong is critical to figuring out what Carmen San Diego is really up. Maybe this message can help. Put it in your clue storage. I'm making a note of it in my journal. Okay. So then let's just go to the phone booth, yeah? Big that gong must be a key to figuring out Carmen's master plan. Agent Shadow Hawkins checking in. 6.59 p.m. in 41 seconds. Right on time. Special Acme tracking device XM1 is ready. Now, why doesn't that phone ring? 
Patience, partner. Just be sure to activate your device when it does ring. No. Okay. Tracking device on. Answer. Vial X77 code 33B. The Golden Lion will not walk. Instead, it will sail in tonight. Golden Lion. I got it down. But what does it mean? It obviously must have been meant for some vile agent. Could sailing in mean a boat? But which harbor would it be sailing into? Well, the tracking device indicates that the call was placed from the banks of the Seine River. The database Sen. will help in locating the spot to travel to. The banks of the Seine? I've been there. It's where the painters and booksellers hang out. Let's get out of here before one of Carmen's henchmen shows up. Okay, okay. Oh, go, think go. Think of France as one of the leaders in world wine production. But you know, it was the Romans who introduced grapes into France. Those Romans really got around. You remember the Colosseum in Rome. Well, in southern France, there are also Roman Colosseums and aqueducts. They did get around. Time. Okay, so on the banks of the Seine... The Seine is not the longest river in France, but it flows right through the heart of Paris and eventually ends up at the English Channel. Hmm. This... Every time I see this design, there's some link to Carmen San Diego. Yeah, I'm starting to think you're right about that. What does this thing say? Hmm, a receipt. Something to do with a book. And La Dame Rouge. The Red, red lady? lady. Yes. Oh, we've got to find the shop this book came from. So it's going to have it's going to be this lady right here, yeah. We're looking for a book, La Dame Rouge. Do you have it? La Dame Rouge, you say. The Red Lady. Yes, yes, I have that book. I was to hold it until someone requested it by name. I have not even opened it. Here, take it. It's been hollowed out. Got it. And look, another animal. What do you think? I don't know. But with a title like La Dame Rouge, I have to think Carmen's involved somehow. Yeah, we'll keep this for sure. Okay, so ooh, we've been kind of all over. But I don't think we have all of them yet. We just have one, two, yeah, just three. We need two more. The golden lion will not walk. Instead, it will sail in tonight. Hmm. So we're still looking for something about sailing, right? The Eiffel Tower. These would be wonderful places to see if I weren't so intent on catching mm. Carmen to restore my standing in Acme once and for all. Interesting. So how do how are we gonna catch the sail in tonight? Or is that Cape Town will sail in tonight? I've read that South Africa was Cape of Good Hope. Well, maybe there's hope of finding Carmen San Diego in South Africa. Right? Like, sail in tonight? Like this? Yes! Okay, Chief. We We're found doing this thing, you guys. The Golden Lion. Do you have any info on it? Registered to one Vincent Ian Lee Edwards. Nothing suspicious so far. Wait a minute. His initials. V. I. L. E. Vile. Vile. Ah. You're obviously on the right track. Be careful. Chief over and out. Okay, Hawkins. We better check this out quickly. Who knows when the owner of the boat will be back? Okay, okay. I know what I'm doing. Acme Procedure C4. Commencing clandestine search procedure. Okay, so what do we have here? Hmm. This notebook records the latitude and longitude of everywhere this boat has been. Really? Where did it sail from? The Indonesian Islands, just south of Thailand near the Indian Ocean. They used to be called the Dutch East Indies. Did you know there are more than 13,000 of them? Thank you, Hawkins. If this detective gig doesn't work out, you'd make a great tour guide. <laughs> what about in here? Can we... What is she up to? I don't know. So now we need to go to Indonesia. Did you know that of the more than 13,000 islands in the Indonesian archipelago, only 6,000 are inhabited, including Java, of course, where Jakarta, the capital, is located? I didn't have all the numbers at hand, but you could say I got the general idea. 
got to be thorough. Well, sure, but I heard that 16% of the world's reptile and amphibian species are found in Indonesia. And you're wondering if they all live in this cave. No, 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 no. Well, yes. So I think we found the one that was already here, right? Yeah, like when we weren't here, we found that one. Unless there's like some other one we have to find. I don't know if there is though. Okay. In hmm. Let's read the journal. Um, Carmen got away again, but at least we have a clue to follow. The phone booth near the Chateau Frontenac will help us find that Mako Gong. We see the wheel design and Carmen's involved. No coincidence that the design appears on every stolen item. But what is the link between this design and Carmen and what in the world is Carmen after? So we have one... Oh, wait. That may you know, be enough. I used to fly all over the world sitting right next to Carmen San Diego. All right. Look at the top of the carousel. That symbol again. No, we need one Carmen more. Carmen loves these kinds of puzzles. This has got to be something we need to complete. But I don't think we have all the pieces yet. Yeah, we need one more. And the only other place it brought us was Indonesia. However, so we got one in Canada. We haven't got one from Russia or Peru. I don't think. Hmm. All this travel is kind of fun. My calculations tell me that in coming here, our calculations must have been... So not here. So what... I don't know about this place. I tell... Somehow, I don't think we're going to find any... So it's not here. So it has to be in one of these areas. The only other thing, too, that I can think of that we may need to think about is the fact that I don't think I ever looked up this. Something about Naganyam. Naganyam. But that sounds like... Digital clue story. It has something to do with... Let's see... Hmm. Yeah, Africa. I thought maybe that the name would be somewhere in here. But I already looked it up, right? I think I spelled it right, too. Just make sure. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. No luck. Maybe mm. we should check the spelling. Okay. Habari. Kwaheri. Habari za hasubuhi. Habari za mchana. Oh, what if that word is one of these phrases in Swahili? Habari za jioni. Habari gani wasafiri? Tafadhali. Asante. Karibu tena. Mkamate mwizi mpelelezi. Nisaidie. Maji. Maji. <laughs> Dio. Hapana. That'd be so awesome to be able to have, you know, multiple languages and like learn them. There's a word for that, but I can't remember. Is it like a, like poly something maybe? No. Maybe. But I can't remember what it was. But I think that's like so cool. If you like you can speak multiple languages like Sifuri. Have you guys ever seen those videos of those people that can like switch back and forth between multiple languages and they like film themselves doing it? It's like so cool to me. Moja. Mbili. Tatu. Tano. Nne. Sit sub nane. Kumi. Tisa. Umemuona mwanamke aliovangu nyekundu. Hmm. Tuonane sokoni. Chumba cha kujisaidia kiko wapi? Piga simu polisi. Safari njema. Jina langu ni kiasi gani? Unasemaje? Neno la siri. Nisamehe. Samahani. Karibu tena. So it wasn't any of those f 
phrase is. De nada. Você viu uma mulher de vermelho por aí? Hmm. But I don't know where else we could go. I think the only other place I can think of to do is like call. Glad you're using your heads. Keep your wits about you in Jerusalem and don't lose that painting. Study it. It may make a difference. Oh, maybe we should go over here. Oh. Another one. Got it. That painting led us here. I was really and close. You were actually right about the painter being guilty of something. Okay, well that makes sense. So now we can finally go back. And we can do this. Ah, oh, these are my favorite kind of puzzles. I love a good logic puzzle. Okay. So the zebra, where was that at? Yeah, the golden lion is the, is the leader. So we can mark that out. We have that one right. Um, the elephant is the farthest from the leader. So it has to be this one. Where else is to talk about the elephant? Nowhere else. So cross that one out. So now we have to find out what the middle is. Okay. Neither the zebra nor the rhino stands on the hourglass pe pedestal. So the zebra doesn't go here. The rhino doesn't go here. So this either has to be the giraffe or it has to be um, the hippo. This one does. And so by default, the hippo follows the giraffe. So if this was the giraffe, the hippo wouldn't go here, it would go here. If this was the hippo, the giraffe would go here. So we've got that area still kind of open. It says the rhino stands right behind the zebra. And the hippo follows the giraffe. So let's see. So we know that the hippo has to be this way or back because the giraffe has to be in front. I think it would make sense that it would be this and then the rhino stands right behind the zebra because then you would have the hippo following the giraffe, the rhino stands right behind the zebra, and neither the zebra nor the rhino is on the hourglass pedestal. A key. This has got to be the key to where the Moko fish gong is hidden. You know, I've been looking into the history of the Moko. I guess those types of wooden fish gongs were struck to bring someone meditating back to full awareness, mm. since it was believed that fish never slept. Interesting, huh? Well, speaking of never sleeping, it doesn't look like we're going to get any rest until we figure out what this key is for. Let's go. Let's go to Canada, because it's got a leaf on it. Global. Whoa! Beneath the surface of this placid sea. Okay, is it something oh, over yes. here? I re no. Hmm. Or is there something else we can unlock, maybe? Eighty percent of the. Nothing so far. This. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I'll bet there's. <gasps> there it is. There it is. And hey, we're right back where we started. Carmen San Diego really did take us around in circles, and somehow I'm starting to think she's doing it on purpose. Yeah, and I'm starting to suspect that this is not a series of unique cases, but one big overarching plan of mm -hmm. Carmen's. Yep. Jules, I've confirmed that your suspicions are right as usual. Every item you've recovered so far is missing a gem. Look closely at that gong, and I'll bet you'll notice a spot for a missing gem as well. Roger that, Chief. I'm sketching it right now. And there's a hollowed out spot right in the center of the wheel design. I wonder why Carmen's keeping the gems. And what about the link between that explorer and the wheel design? Hang on, agents. I've just received word that yet another item's been stolen. Mm. This time it's a priceless Senate game table from ancient Egypt. The museum in Cairo is very concerned. A vile agent's been spotted hanging out near the Sphinx. You're on your way to Egypt. This may be your chance to finally start putting all the pieces together. Hmm. The ancient Egyptian game of Senate. That table's probably over 3,000 years old. We're on it, Chief. And this time, I'm not playing any merry-go-round games with Carmen Sandiego. <laughs> I'm bringing her in. 
You're not going to be able to do it alone, Hawkins. It'll take teamwork to catch Carmen San Diego. Remember, there's good reason I've paired the two of you together. Yeah, mission four. I'm looking forward to getting some Egyptian food. Doesn't fool sound yummy? You don't have to call me a fool just because I don't know about Egyptian food. I'm not calling you a fool. Full is a dish made from fava beans. Egyptians eat it more than any other food. I guess there's little hope for finding a nice juicy steak then, isn't there? It's pretty incredible to think that Whoa. Egypt was ruled by the pharaohs for like 2,500 years. Like Pharaoh Fawcett. In the original Charlie's Angels? Uh, right, Hawkins. Wow, look at how huge the Great Sphinx is. Impressive. Do you remember whether pharaohs were actually kings, or did they get elected by a council? That sounds like a piece of information that you'd find in that database of yours. Hmm. Okay, okay. <gasps> Who is that? She sure didn't want to talk to us. I wonder what kind of funny business she was up to. Hmm. I smell a rat. I think you smell the remains of that taco you stuffed in your pocket in Mexico. <laughs> Chief, what do you think? About the food smell or the suspicious woman? I'll put out an alert on a suspected bio agent hanging out near the Sphinx. We'll see if we can track her. Meanwhile, check out the area. We've got to figure out what Carmen San Diego's plans are. You got it. Chief signing off. Here we go. Okay, first of all, what is this? Nice jewelry, but it doesn't look like it was made around here. Hmm. Ah, India. An Indian earring. And just what I thought, Carmen San Diego's fingerprints are all over it. Okay, and what about this? Buenos Aires, huh? We should keep this card in that clue storage of yours. Okay. Let me go back because I wanted to read that. Estancia Mendoza? Finest beef from the Pampas, serving Buenos Aires for over 80 years. Hmm. Ooh. These symbols kind of look like they might mean something. And hieroglyphic puzzle. I think you're right puzzle. about that. We'll come back if we find any clues as to what they are. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Okay, we'll come back. The Great Pyramid here at Giza was built to honor the Pharaoh Khufu. My brother was stationed in the military close to here. Fascinating, aren't they? Hieroglyphics hmm. are the ancient Egyptian form of picture writing. Not the easiest thing to translate, even for me. Sometimes they're meant to be read left to right, and other times right to left. Carmen had some degree or other in the study of hieroglyphics. She's Carmen's just kind of impressive, isn't she? She's done everything. Okay, so we were supposed to go to India. India awaits, and I'm ready. I'll use every procedure in the book till I find Carmen San Diego. I know she's there. When we've searched this area for signs of the Egyptian Senate table, I want to get back to New Delhi. Why? The capital of a country isn't the only cool place to hang. I'd rather visit Mumbai, which was called Bombay the last time I was here. You know, Bollywood. Bollywood? Yeah, they call it that because of all the movies made there. Hmm. Oh my goodness, it's you two again. The secret spy agents, right? I've been keeping my eyes peeled since you left. For suspicious persons, you know. I have very helpful information for you. Really? Well, great. That tall lady in red you mentioned before. I have seen her yesterday. Mm. I was very sneaky. She dropped a piece of paper and I got it right here. She did not suspect a thing. Thank you so much. I think you'll make a great secret agent someday. I do not have anything else for you, but I will be keeping my eyes peeled. But what is <gasps> this thing? Some sort of instructions? I do not have anything else for you, but I... Hmm. Well, I guess it's really all that's here for us then. So, what should we do? Let's go to Spain? Now, Madrid's the... The chief said this villa had been rented... 
Look, it's the symbol again. Looks like we interrupted someone's game of chess. Check it out. Giant sized. And look, there's that wheel design again. I'll take a photo of this. Whenever we see that design, Carmen San Diego is definitely involved. Hmm. Wait a minute. This isn't just the design. Take a closer look. Wow, I didn't notice. These look like drawings of the items Carmen's been stealing. At least five of them look familiar. Let's call the chief and see if she has any information on this villa. The villa? As a matter of fact, I've looked into it further. It once belonged to a reclusive Portuguese explorer. No one knows much about him, but there's a legend that he had a great treasure. That diary page we got in Thailand. Do you suppose it could be the same It's all explorer? coming together My now. My intuition tells me that explorer, the wheel design, and a great treasure are all connected. Mm -hmm. Now why would Carmen want the gems from these things? And are the other two items on her list? Well, I say you'd better note all that in your journal, regardless of what your intuition tells you. Hmm. Span so let me just look. Oh, no, wrong thing. Her journal. Okay, mission five. We found the explorer's villa. All of the items Carmen's been stealing were pictured on the wheel design there. An explorer with a great treasure in a lost city. Carmen obviously knows something we don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, let's... Ooh, let's go to Australia. It always blows my mind to think that back in the days of colonialism, like, what, 1770? Someone like Captain James Cook could just sail to Australia and claim the whole East Coast for Britain. I know. Australia only won independence in 1901. Uh, hey, all right. This part Ooh, of Australia sneaky is a person place. with a newspaper. Silence, soccer, restaurants, you name it. A lot of Australians must agree with you because more than 80% of them live here on the Southeast Coast. Who is that? Someone's been doodling here, and look what was on that person's mind. All solved except for that one word. Hmm. From the looks of this clue, I'll bet we can find the answer somewhere around here. Let's mm. hang on to it. Seven, oh, seven... Wait, what? This is said seven down. But it was supposed to be seven across. Prospectors came to plus something for gold. Pan, plan, no. Hmm. Let's look. Kangaroos, like wallabies, koalas, and wombats, are marsupials. Cool. Rocks. One of the reasons Australia is prosperous is its large deposits of coal, iron ore, gold, and other minerals. Hey, I know what that is. Boomerangs are used by some aborigines for hunting. Australia is called the land down under. The famous Sydney Opera House was designed to resemble the sails of a ship. Well, that was really all there was to a it. A didgeridoo. A didgeridoo what? Didgeridoo. <laughs> a didgeridoo it's what? An aboriginal musical instrument. Well, I don't think that really told us much. Unless we go read about Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here in gold and the minerals most Australians call it. Here the spouse male doctors out back. Mm. Yeah, I don't see anything. The only thing I saw about gold was right in here, but Okay, so let's go keep traveling. Nice clouds. Check it out. Can't you see I'm meditating? No clues here. What about Antarctica? I, just I still can't get over this place. And I thought Quebec was cold. Ah, but there's more than just meets the eye. It's thought that large reserves of oil lie around the coast. And there's definitely coal underground in some places. Well, I tell you, they need all the fuel reserves they can get around here. Because it's cold. And where is everyone? This place does seem deserted. Strange. 
Hey, check out the snowmobile. Let's go exploring. Hold on, Hawkins. In this weather, we'd get lost without a signal to follow. Hmm. Looks like a key might have fallen ah. out of the storage unit. But how on earth can we find it in all this snow and ice? So we don't have the thing that we need to find it, I guess. Or do we? Do we have a tool? No. Hmm. Okay, so we can't find it right now at this moment, but maybe here soon. The only other thing that... Oh. Oh, look! We just oh, found a new cool. thing! You'll never guess what this is. No, let me guess. An Acme 5XQ3 Turbo What's It with an X-ray tweeter. <laughs> Do I detect a note of sarcasm in your voice, Jules? Actually, it's an Acme MV24 molecular scanner. But what's it doing here, Chief? Very interesting, Hawkins. Security mentioned the theft of one of those from our operative in Buenos Aires. Mm. Hang on oh, to it. It Buenos may Aires. prove useful. Okay, okay, okay. So we need that. Hmm. This is quite a find. It seems to be part of a journal. Something tells me it may belong to someone we're quite familiar with already. Ms. You-Know-Who? Well, she's definitely been here then. We're still on the right track. Her hiding place is all secure and she just has to wait. Okay, so we need to think this about that. This is a that. biography of James Cook. This beacon might turn on a signal somewhere, but we don't know the frequency to set it to. Hmm. What a cool hunk of rock. Okay, so we did that. And our... So we really need to check out Snow Argentina. Quick, yeah. Please. What's the capital of Argentina? Buenos Aires. That's what yeah. we need to check out. Pampas. Who are you calling Pampas? Oh, you mean P A M P A S, Argentina's grasslands. Exactly. And cowboys down here are called gauchos. I knew that too, of course. Well, hey gaucho. Any ideas where we can round up the stolen Egyptian Senate table? This place looks kind of deserted. Okay, so... Oh, wow. We had pompous grass around the ranch where I grew up. Nope, right there. Operation was successful. Vial security level Alpha 1. Monitor Acme 1 and 2 and report. Codename Hielo. Red Lady 1 out. I just love finding these things. Sounds like vial agents may be watching us, though. And what does that code name mean? Hielo. It's, it's a hair, Spanish right? word. It might be something to do with Spain or even Argentina, since they speak Spanish here, too. But it's the meaning of the word that's puzzling me. I need to make a note here in my journal. Why? What does it mean? Hielo means ice. Oh, ice. Okay, okay. Oh, that's like Antarctica then, huh? I thought Pielo was hair. Beef is one of the most popular foods here. It's no surprise that it's one of Argentina's main exports. Mm. <gasps> That's an Australian flag. An old newspaper article. And did you read it? I've got to update my journal. Try to so, stump Carmen. someone besides us has been here recently. Try to stump Carmen San Diego at the Plaza Hotel tonight. This 12-year-old genius has made it to the, her goal to become an expert on all world geography using the grand prize money she won two years ago on the tv show quiz show it says wise child she recently returned from a world tour of all seven continents check out that flag on the wall that's definitely not argentina's flag check out that flag on the wall that's definitely not argentina's flag right how strange i bet my database could help us figure out which country it's from it is from australia right or am i making that up yeah australia Curious. The Alhambra, eh? It's not in Argentina, that's for sure. Maybe the database could help. Good eyes, Hawkins. I'll note it in my journal. Okay. So, what was journal? Oh, whoa, whoa, we found so many other things. 
We found another vile message device. Carmen's got her vile agents on our trail, and she mentioned a code word, Hielo, which is Spanish for ice. Is that a clue as to where she is? Carmen actually traveled the world by herself as a child with the money she got from winning the quest show. We found a calendar in Argentina with a picture of the Alhambra. Curious. Maybe it's a clue to where Carmen is hiding the missing Senate table. Oh, good point. So how do I look up and see Alhambra? Alhambra. Spain. Okay, so we need to go to Spain. Spain is such a wonderful place. Agent Hawkins reporting from Spain. So it's just this again? I love all the beautiful art and architecture in Spain. So not, maybe not yet. I do know though that we have, uh, try to stump. Oh yeah, we have that. April 2nd. Well, maybe we should go back to, oh yeah, what did we get? Molecular scanner. We should try and go back to also, um, Australia. And no, Antarctica. I no one wow. More than 40 reasons. This be What a cool hunk of rock. No. You ever Waltzing. Okay, so I feel like I've been everywhere, so I'm gonna call the chief. Jewel, Hawkins. Where is that business card from again? It may be the missing piece of the puzzle you've been looking for. Oh. Which one was it? But I thought we went there. We sure are racking up. Okay, there. Digital clue storage device. Yeah. So serving one is Aries. Yeah. Spanish oranges are famous, of course. I the more it's really okay. So we have this earring from India. Find this beef. Oh wait, no. It was Argentina. Boy, Argent the pompous is so peaceful. Not yeah. We had. We had pompous. The e beef is one of the most pop. It must be here that I'm missing it. Like there's something inside the house, maybe. Buenos Aires. Fewer people live in Curious. The Alhambra, eh? It's not in Argentina, that's for sure. Maybe the database could help. Good eyes, Hawkins. I'll note it in my journal. Right. Which we did. Look that up. The Alhambra, right? Which I thought was in Spain. And we still have this. We still have the book. This. Operation was successful. Vial security level Alpha 1. Monitor Acme 1 and 2 and report. Code name Hielo. Red Lady 1 out. Oh yeah, we have the word Hielo. We just have so many things. The Alhambra. I think I looked that up. Did I not? Al. Alhambra. 
The Alhambra, a famous Alcazar, overlooks the city of Granada and is carved with elaborate Islamic designs. Spain drove out the Moors by 1492, the year of... So the Alhambra, a famous Alcazar. Right, which is where we went, right? So, you ever try one of these vests? If we find a clue, I'll store it in my vest for safekeeping. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Hmm. If you're done, Jules Hawkins, where is that business card from again? It may be the missing piece of the puzzle you've been looking for. <sighs> Did you I really it? These Egyptian. Okay, so let me something here. These Egyptian hieroglyphs look like they form some kind of puzzle. You're right. Let's follow these instructions and see what happens. My hunch is that we'll need to find the exact matches for these symbols on the clue and in the right order. Ah, so we have to click on them as they appear. So the bird would be next. And then the banner. Then. Oh no, that's not an exact match. So what would be next? Do we start back over? see anywhere where that would be cuz see hmm oh so you just have to go find it anywhere interesting We did it though. That was everything, was it not? I'm so lost right now. Do you hmm because the arrows pointed this way so I'm confused if or do we literally just go across the board huh okay I thought it was gonna be like a right to left An thing. electronic clue behind ancient hieroglyphs Obviously, this was put here recently. Yeah. And that design links it to Carmen San Diego. Yeehaw! Hmm. Slay Enough standing to... around. There's also something over here, was there not? Somewhere. Hmm. Yeah. Fascinating, aren't they? But I guess we're not doing anything with this right now, are we? And then there was one other thing I think that was over here as well. Oh, okay, no. So then what did we gain? What did we, what did we get here? 
this thing. Slate E P P U. Hmm. So then where to next should we go? See, my thing is, is that every, every time we come here, curious. there's supposed to be maybe something here, but bueno, few. I don't see anything. Oh, there's something on the desk. Let's call this number oh. and see who we get. Yes, can I help you? Uh, yes. Hi. You don't know us, but we're detectives from Acme on official business. Any idea why a vial agent would have your business card? We found it in Egypt, of all places. Well, well, this is interesting. Carmen San Diego, she's the head of vial, right? She contacted me a few years ago about a base I helped build in Antarctica. Before I retired mm. here, I was a contractor working on scientific installations. Oh, really? Even stranger. Last night, someone stole the plans for the underground vaults near the base. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the storage of dangerous chemicals and such. How would we find those vaults? They're quite a distance from the base. But there's a beacon at the base camp that turns on a signal at the vault. Here, write down the frequency you need to set it to. Oh, here I go. Eight, five, seven. Oh, Thank you. That. Eight, You've five, been seven. really helpful. Sure thing. Anytime. Goodbye. Yes, we got some great info from him. You gotta be so careful with those uh, little tiny yeah. things that are hidden. If you miss, if you miss it, you miss hey, it. Check out that cool transmitter over there by the window, and <gasps> oh, Look, the oh, oh, that's like Who scared that? me. What on earth? Quick, after them! Oh no, we're locked in. Don't worry about that. I'm prepared for any emergency. I, well, I, I thought I had it. Now, where did I put my refluxing lock disengager? Where'd you get that? N424 electrosonifier. Standard Acme issue. Now, uh, where did they go? Oh. Looks like they hightailed it out of here. <gasps> oh, I called it. Out where they I went. called it. Maybe that transmitter inside can help. But how did they know we'd be here? Wait, that rancher from Argentina. I told you he was up to no good. Okay, let's see if we can input the correct frequency. I called it i knew she was gonna escape that way okay eight five seven that's it we can home in on that signal okay how how do we do that we use our device We've already got this set. Oh, okay. Oh, there it goes. That anemometer measures wind speed, and it can have it tough here, because Antarctic... Oh, no, I thought we were gonna... Where's the beacon? Ant Where's the beacon? I'm so confused. Or, do we take this? Can't get this thing started without a key. So, we need a key. We've already got this set. Let's see if we can follow the signal. How, how do we follow the signal? The only thing I know to do is to do like this thing, right? We've all... Yeah, how do we follow the signal? You need the solution to that crossword. Oh. Well. Would you? Well, here we are. As always, I'll keep track of the key information we find in my journal. Let's go. Cool. Rocks. Cool. Cool. Everyone thinks koalas are so cute. But they're not as friendly as they look. You're right on that one, Hawkins. Hmm. The Australian platypus is certainly unique for a mammal. Not only does it have a beak and webbed feet, it lays eggs. Oh. 
What? So is that what this is for, platypus? Oh, is that what the answer to the crossword puzzle was, platypus? It's all coming together now. The Australian kangaroos. Global transportation. So we have it, okay, right? Okay, agents. I'm here to help. You'll need a way to travel out to the hidden vault in Antarctica. I wish. All right. Can't get this thing. Okay, agents. I'm here to help. Okay, agents. I'm here to help. You'll need a way to travel out to the hidden vault in Antarctica. Look around outside the research station. More than four... More than... Looks like a key might have fallen out of the storage unit. We need to search around this area with the molecular scanner. <laughs> oh... We can look inside things? Aha! Found something! My so now we can use it to the go? The key must fit the snowmobile. Climb on! Let's follow the signal and go find No way, are we really going to be as able to get on a snowmobile? Drive this thing. There's a first time for everything, Hawkins. Hang on! Uh-uh, stop. <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh, a secret hiding place. Interesting. Wow. This looks like some kind of crazy lock scheme. Yeah, hmm. it's got Carmen Sandiego's name all over it. Well, let's see if we can figure it out. It looks like we've got all the pieces we need. Yeah, to set the number on the lock for the letter P in platypus, it looks like we need to find the letter P at the bottom of the chessboard. Yeah. And then look at which row the chess piece is in. That's what I was thinking too. So, so for example, uh, this P right here is on uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, row six. No, no, no. How do we... That clears it. Okay, okay. But it's got it spelled weird, so how would you know... How would you get that part right? So like P... It's like this. Whereas L is like just the one, and A is one, two, three, four, five. I assume this is how you do it. And then T is all the way at the top. Y is one, two, three, four. U is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then S is just two. Yeah. Hey, this is quite a place. It's actually a bit warmer down here than on the surface. Shh. Let's keep our eyes peeled and our ears open. Carmen could be down here too. So basically she told him to be quiet. <laughs> Stop talking, bro. Let's get to the detective this work. This get to be quite a maze. We're not lost yet. That stolen item's got to be around here somewhere. Hmm. You're sure we're not lost? Trust me. Every time that sound effect goes, I just oh, feel it's weird. It's here. But where's Carmen San Diego? I thought we'd find her for sure. But we found the Senate table, and that's quite a catch. Oh, it's and the Egyptian we hieroglyphics. We know that it's part of a greater treasure. And just as we expected, there's the wheel design. Mm-hmm. Look, no gem. Good. You're really working together on this. I think you're on to something with that explorer. Carmen San Diego's after a bigger treasure for sure. I've had another call and and don't tell me. Carmen's stolen something round and valuable. I remember the image from the villa near Alhambra. 
You're right, Jules. You always did have a good sense about these things. It's an Aztec calendar, circular, like you described, with a uh -huh. series of beautifully decorated rings and... And I hate to break up this little party, but I just couldn't resist. So you managed to escape my little trap at the base camp. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed, Jules. You and Mr. Hawkins and you're not gonna win. better than I thought you would. You're not going to win, Carmen. And you learned a little something at the villa, didn't you? But don't get cocky. There's so much more you don't know. See you around. Ciao. I still think she's good, though. I think she's good. She did it again. You've got to stop her. Perhaps the best way to spoil her fun is to find that Aztec calendar. A vile airplane was tracked flying over the Congo and then disappeared from radar. We lost the signal over the Ituri rainforest. I want you two to get over there pronto. Over and out. Good. Somewhere tropical. I'm freezing. Let's go. There we go. Mission five is complete. <laughs> that was so fun. I loved that one. I hate to admit it, but I get nervous flying over all this rainforest. How long before we reach the capital at Kinshasa? Well, even though we can see the Congo River out the window already, it could still be quite a ways. This is like the, the adventure of a lifetime. Like they are Africa, truly traveling right through everywhere in the world. Of Congo. Can you imagine just going to all these places? Whoa. Looks like our vile friend Whoa. had a little accident. Not my idea of fun, crashing into one of the world's thickest rainforests. But no one's here now, as far as I can see. You're right. But that campfire can't have been out for very long. Yeah. We better watch our step. If we're right, finding that Aztec calendar is crucial to putting a wrench in Carmen's plans. Okay, let's look around. There's something down here. A candy bar. Looks hmm. like our vile friend was hungry. What language is that on the wrapper, though? Chinese. Chinese. This may be a lead. Okay, let's keep that. Is there anything else? This thing's worthless. It's broken. Hang on, hang on. I can fix it. There. Should work now. I'd better get the old call tracer ready, just in case. Vile Agent X-34, this is Red Lady 1. Are you still there? <clears throat> uh, yeah? You don't sound very well. I'm set to leave the cabin. There's a map here for you. Plus, I've almost got the signal figured out. I'll let you know about it as soon as it's finalized. Red Lady 1, out. I'm impressed. Good job fixing that radio, rookie. Nice. Just in time, too. You know, I think we're beginning to make a pretty good team. I think you're right. By the way, the call tracer indicates it came from the forest near Stockholm. I'll note what we heard in my journal, so we don't forget it. I think we're on to something. Okay, Sweet. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. So that's good. That means we're, we've got a place to start. So mission six. Okay, we intercepted a radio message. Carmen's headed to a forest near Stockholm. She said something about leaving a map there. Maybe we can find it before the vile agent. Ooh, a map. These huts are made by the native people who live in the Congo. The Congo rainforest has gorillas, chimpanzees, parrots, and it's the only place on earth where you can see Okapi. Okay, let's go ahead and go to... Ooh, lots of different places this time. Let's go ahead and go off to... Hmm... What if we went to, or real quick, let me look up um, Stockholm. Is that Swedish? Yeah. Okay, let's go to Sweden real quick. Now then. let me get this straight. Scandinavia historically refers to Sweden, Norway, and Denmark? Right. And after we land, we'll head for a cabin in the woods, northwest of the Swedish capital of Stockholm. Well, I should feel right at home here, seeing that I'm a Vikings fan. That's what? Basketball? <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> that was some like. Look at all these trees. Whoa. I've read that forests cover more than half of Sweden. When do we get to see the other half? Shh. This place looks deserted. But you never know. There's these symbols. Look at this. The design we've linked to the stolen items and Carmen. It's here on this ancient steel. Hmm. There's writing too. 
Looks like runes. You know, I think we should call the chief and see if she has any information on these runes. Agents, good to hear from you. How's the case coming along? Chief, it's the strangest thing. That design that's on all the items Carmen has stolen. Well, it's here on this stone slab, too. Can we translate these runes? Runes, huh? Okay. Your transmission is coming through. Well, let's see. Hmm. Our database translation indicates these are runes that tell of a lost city. Something about a great treasure hidden beneath a huge boulder. Good work, Jules and Hawkins. Yeah. Thanks, Chief. I'm jotting that down in my journal. But also, what is this? Hmm. Carmen's hidden something here. It looks like a miniature axe. The Swedish Vikings used axes like these. What could this be for? Maybe there's more to this than meets the eye. What would one use an axe for around here? Hmm. Well, let's investigate a little bit more. Could that be used? Well, will you look at that? Uh -huh. The city of Warwick, huh? Man, this is a really old map. It sure is. I wonder what Warwick looks like now. And why Carmen had this stashed here. It must be meant for that vile agent whose plane crashed in the Congo. Maybe it's a clue as to where they transported that Aztec calendar. Hmm. Carmen must have rented this cabin. One-fifth of all Swedish families have a country home or cabin for vacations. So she had lots to choose from. What's that in the door? Carmen must have left this for one of her vile agents. We need to find the Rosetta Stone? I should know that. China? Egypt? Hmm. Maybe it's in the database. Hmm. Okay, let's look up the database. But truly, though, I mean, like, that teaches you so much because, like, you're having to look up all of this information and so you remember it. Ah, the UK, the Rosetta Stone, a famous stone found by Napoleon's troops, his house in the British Museum. This stone was particularly important for scholars learning how to decipher hieroglyphics, as the same statement carved onto the stone is in three different languages, Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphic. Oh, ma'am. Well, we've got lots to do. So, lots to do. We need to go to China. We also need to go to the UK. This magazine I'm reading says that China produces more coal, iron ore, and tin than any other country. Then again, hmm. it is the third largest country in the world. And what a wide variety of geography and climates. Everything from the dry desert to tropical rainforest. Wow. I'm impressed. Yay. And this is just one section of the Great Wall. Okay, let's go over here because I wanted to go see this over here last time. Carmen was fascinated with Chinese opera. Mm, this. Curious. A ticket stub. And it's not to the Beijing opera either. And Shakespeare was English, that's for sure. Maybe I should use my trusty Watson clue analyzer on this. Carmen's ah. fingerprints. We know she's been here. Okay, so we'll take that. The landscape around the Lijiang River. Is there anything else that we need to look at? Wow, this food sounds great, and I'm starving. As always, you should quit being a secret agent and uh, go yum. open a bakery somewhere. Oh, yum, 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 yum. It all looks so good, like steamed pork dumplings. Or pot stickers, ugh, so good. Did you know the giant panda is considered a symbol of good luck? Ooh. No one's here. We'll come back again. So there's some kind of puzzle Did there. Did you know that? You know, the Chinese. So there's some kind of puzzle here, but we don't know enough about it. But that's okay because China. we honestly need to go to the UK. I think Great that's, Britain is part that's of our the next, United Kingdom and is the largest island next in place Europe. to go. Have you ever been there before? Oh yes. Hey, check out the castle. They say that Warwick has the finest medieval castle in England. Knights, castles, dungeons. This place must be rich in history. No kidding. And Carmen loves history. We need to check this place out completely. Who knows where we may find a clue? Hmm, okay. So, looking first. At I'll take two this. of everything. 
Try our traditional Sunday dinner. Roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, roast potatoes, and two veggies. Ah. What we got over here? Excuse me. We found this map of Warwick Castle. Would you mind telling us what you know about the place? Well, the castle is a rather spooky place, actually. Full of mystery. At night, one can see flashing lights from a window where no room exists. At least you can't get to the room from inside the castle. Really? Come and see for yourselves. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh. Red, green, white. Is that there Italy? They are. Jolly peculiar, aren't they? And you can't get to that room from inside the castle? How strange. I'll say. I recorded those lights on a compact Super Double E3 digital video cartridge. We may need it for evidence. Could it be someone signaling? There's got to be a way in there. Oh, we can't look at any of the stuff over here? Hmm. Yeah. Interesting fireplace. You know, <clears throat> I think there's more to this, but we seem to be missing some important information. <clears throat> yeah, let's come back after we look around some more. Yeah, okay, so we need something here, but we just don't know what. Can we go to the travel agency? <gasps> Carmen and I saw that exhibit the of the Rosetta stone. stone. Because the message on the stone was in three different languages, Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphics, scholars used it to learn how to decipher hieroglyphics. Yeah, the Rosetta Stone was found by Napoleon's troops, but it ended up in a British museum. Hmm, okay. Every time I see ironwork in England, it reminds me. Even though the Brit... You know, Brit... Ah. Uh, what is that thing stuck on the window? A playback device. Surprise, Hawkins. I knew you couldn't resist an electronic device. I'm a little disappointed. This hasn't been half the challenge I thought it would be. You've much more to learn, doesn't he, Julia? Oh, well. It is hard to find a worthy opponent. Just remember, I'm always nearby. All that training, and they never told me how incredibly irritating Carmen San Diego is. And I thought we were doing well. That's just her way. She thrives on taunting her pursuers. Maybe she's getting nervous that we've trailed her this far. Hmm, okay. England. Red, green. Is that blue or white? Red, green. Looks like purple. Well, that was a lot of clues. Okay. A wheel design appears in runes we found in Sweden. The runes depict a lost city which holds a great treasure secured behind a huge boulder. An explorer, a lost city, stolen treasures, missing gems, and Carmen. There's a link here, and I'm determined to find it. We found a ticket stub to a performance of Hamlet, the play by Shakespeare. What is this doing in China? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, well. Oh, we get to go to the USA, too. Let's go to the USA. No, Italy first, and I'm then really USA. enjoying this secret agent stuff. I think I'm getting pretty good at it. Watching all those detective reruns really paid off, huh? In some cases. Hey, I think we're almost on Italian soil. This is amazing. Ooh. To think I'm actually on a bridge in Italy. This is a new place. Goldsmiths and silversmiths have had their shops here on the Ponte Vecchio since the 1500s. Ooh, ooh look, it's those devices that were on the fireplace. How can I help you? We're just looking around. We want these An things. An English horse brass. Are you interested in it? We'd like to purchase it, actually. All right. Oh, okay. This is part of what we need to help us solve the puzzle at the fireplace. Any of the other ones or just that one? How can I help? I guess that was it. Florence. Did you know that Venice is built on a cluster of islands and has more than 400 bridges? Yeah. I've traveled the canals of this ancient seaport by boat. 
There aren't any cars anywhere in Old Town Venice. Hmm. Well, I guess that was pretty much it then. So if we have that, then we need to go okay. back over here. Okay, Hawk. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting fireplace. You know, I think there's more to this. Ah, uh, okay. So we still don't know enough. That's okay. I want to go to the USA. What a great view. You can see the Statue of Liberty and most of New York City from here. These are some digs. Well, I still can't believe you found this place. Like finding a needle in a haystack in the largest city in the United States. A travel guide to places in the United States. Hmm. Wonder why the Rocky Mountains are circled. So what? It's just a magazine. I know. Just a funny feeling, that's all. I think I'll make a note of it in my journal. So the only other thing that's been added is Hawkins probably thinks I'm crazy, but I have a funny feeling that about that travel magazine in New York City. Why were the Rocky Mountains circled? Maybe I'll never know. No one's here. Hmm. Well, um, the only other place we haven't been to is Japan. No, Germany. So, uh, it's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to have to find a clue here. So you're saying there's no clues here? Hmm. Oktoberfest is a festival celebrating the fall season. And serving my kind of food. No, I don't think there's anything here. So let's see, we have the key to this thing. Oh yeah, the signal that we don't know what that means. Yeah, the Hamlet, the Shakespeare play. Hmm. I'm going. All right, so we took a wrong turn. So no, nothing there. If we get the Democratic Republic of Congo. I wonder if anyone from Vile even knows their plane crashed in this rainforest. And I don't think there's anything here either. It sounded like Carmen's on her way somewhere. Yeah, we gotta find out where. Un okay, here's a piece of Swedish tri Let's see. Houses, wheel, castle, cow. I don't know if that means anything or not. Hmm. Some lips not. If you're interested in the castle, you should look at the old painting of it over there, above the fireplace. Ah, okay. That castle is really mysterious. We need to find out more about it. Let's call the chief. Greetings, agents. So you're calling from Warwick Castle. An Acme informant on Ponte Vecchio has studied castles throughout Europe. I suggest you go meet her. Oh, and there's been some concerns about Acme security in Florence. You'll need to use a password. Lighthouse. Make a note of it. Got it, Chief. I love passwords. Real secret agent stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's go travel. Well, here... Bonjour. Good morning. Can I help you? We, um, we want to visit a lighthouse. Oh, see, si, see. Si. Yes, I can help you. Acme agents Jules Argent and Shadow Hawkins here. The chief told you we'd be coming with an old map of the castle in Warwick. Oh, yes. Great to meet you. Argent, eh? Weren't you uh, Carmen San Diego's partner at uh, one time? Yeah, a long time ago. And no, it wasn't my fault she left Acme. No, no, of course. Anyway, about this castle, I've heard the tales of a secret passage. These old maps often contain hidden information written in a special invisible ink. It can be revealed, but unfortunately, By like the I fire? don't know the secret. Well, so much for getting help here. Shh. I said I don't know, but... There's an Acme informant who can help. I can't give you his name for security reasons, but he goes by the code name The Mandarin. If you want, I'll call him and let him know what you need. 
Code name, huh? How come I don't have a code name? Maybe someday you'll earn one. Anyway, we need to check the database and figure out if the Mandarin is a clue as to where we can find him. Okay. So I guess we're gonna head to China. China. Did you know that the Great Wall of China is one of the world's longest man-made structures? I read that somewhere. Pretty. Okay, back at the Great Wall. Let's get to work. <gasps> Piece of paper. To Agents Hawkins and Ar Argent. Use the chemicals on the rack, mixing them according to the formula written on the scroll. You'll find the scroll in the vase with the phoenix on it. Dun 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 dun! <laughs> Looking for this? Great man. Hand it over. Like. Hand it over. Sorry, I got here first. I uh. got her! She's not going to get away this time! Oh, how cinematic. Oh my gosh. Get her! Get her! You may have the formula, but you'll never catch me. Well, she's gone again, but it looks like she may have left something behind. That is hilarious. She just picked up a kite and flew. Or a glider, whatever you call them. All right, we've got the formula. Let's get back to the shop and mix ourselves a solution for that mystery map. Okay. The Chinese invented the abacus. All right, that's how I meant. Okay, let's see. Ancient formula. If I breathe fire, use twice as much from me than if I hiss. If I hop, use three times as much from me than if I slither. And if I exist only in myths, use four from me. Oh, okay. So four of the dragon. Right? One. How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, one, two, three, four. So if I breathe fire, use twice as much from me than if I hiss. So this is twice as much as this. This should be two. And if I hop, use three times as much from me than if I slither. So what's that times three? It'd be six, right? One, two, yeah. Looks like we did it. Oh, Let's see what yeah. <gasps> A secret pathway from the Just inn. What I suspected. A it's the fireplace. Passage. And the tunnel leads right from the inn to the castle. It's the Good fireplace. Work, agents. This could be the breakthrough we needed. Time's running out for tracking down Carmen San Diego and the missing calendar. Stay sharp. Chief out. <laughs> Always love when she says that. Okay, so it's the fireplace at this point. We gotta figure out the fireplace. Uh, where do we go to get the... Whoa! Let's start... Hmm, there's something on the stool. Wish we could talk to him. The postcard has an address. Hmm. New York City. Ah, looks like we're going to go back to New York. I'm having a splendid time in the Big Apple. Hope the inn is treating you well. If you need to contact me, I might need some... Hmm. New York, anyone? Oh, did you know... <gasps> Hello? Excuse us. Agents Shadow Hawkins and Jules Argent from the Acme Detective Agency. We understand you recently moved here from Warwick. That's right. It was a strange place. Weird things going on. I was glad to leave. The present innkeeper thinks you may have taken a poem from the inn fireplace. Would you be willing to let us have it? Well, I am rather fond of poetry. That's why I took it, you know. Still, I'd let you have it for a trade. Don't you two travel a lot? Oh, yeah. We have a tendency to rack up the airline mileage. Well, during your travels, have you by chance seen a figurine that matches this one? I'd trade you the matching figurine for the poem. Wait, that figurine does look In familiar. Italy, Go behind the jewelry. I've definitely seen it somewhere. We'll come back with the matching one. Okay, so the arm is extended out like that, and there's a robe on? Okay, let's see if we can bind it. What? That one. Do you like that? 
Yeah, yes. In what? We brought the figurine you wanted. So you did. Thank you. No, thank you. And here's the poem. Great. Oh, At yeah. Least, I think so. What does all this mean? And back to the UK. Uh, Man, can you imagine having to fly back and forth that much? This would be, have to be solved in like months. Okay, place the brasses side by side. The symbols on the shield will guide. So all the triangles should go on one side, all the stars should go on the other side. Okay. Go, go, go. Follow the lights to place each one. So it was green, red, then blue. The way will open when you're done. Okay, we can do that. So we need the triangles first, right? Green, red, and then the blue one, and then the sun-shaped one. So green, red, and blue. Oh, that must not be right. Is that not right though? Let me just go back to this just to confirm that this. Oh, it's red, green, then blue. Red, green, then blue. Okay. So we just have to swap those two. Yeah. Oh, this is like so exciting. Like to be a whole secret agent and secret passageways. Check it out! So there is a secret passage. It's got to lead to that hidden room in the castle. Do Spooky it. or not, let's find out. Chief, Jules and Hawkins here. We found a secret passage from the inn. Keep monitoring us in case we run into trouble. Good idea, Jules. Now be careful, both of you. Carmen San Diego can't be very happy about you finding her stolen treasures. Keep an eye out for that Aztec calendar. Ooh. <gasps> Is that it? Look, we're in the castle dungeon. Oh. But it's deserted. Looks like our friend with the signal lamp must have gotten away. Well, mm. there it is. The Aztec calendar. Unbelievably intricate, isn't it? Agents, excellent work. This was a tough case, and the two of you broke it together. Chief, I'm absolutely certain now that there's a link between the stolen items, an explorer, and a lost city. Carmen is after something much bigger than these items or their gems. And, as I suspected all along, the wheel design appears on this item as well. As you suspected? Oh well, never mind. Yes, Chief, there's the wheel design <laughs> and a possible gem missing from the center again. You're doing a great job, Agents, but we don't have Carmen San Diego. And I've... I did have her! On the Great Wall! She was right there, almost in my hands! Unfortunately, the key word here is almost. But never mind, Rookie. We got the formula, and we couldn't have cracked the case without it. Sorry to interrupt, Agents, but Carmen San diego has been sighted in Germany. She entered a site of historical importance, but managed to jam the gate behind her. Follow her and find another way in. But did she steal anything? Jules here is banking on her taking another item, right? Well, if my theory's correct, the image at the villa showed seven items. We've only found six. And have you figured out why Carmen San Diego is taking gems? This time she apparently stole an ancient Roman bust of Julius Caesar. Hmm. Why that one statue, I don't know. But it's time to put your heads together and solve this case. Board the next plane and take the latest Acme equipment. Equipment! Will do, Chief. Julius Caesar, stolen item number seven. How does this tie in with Carmen's master plan? Mission six is complete. So I guess we only have one more mission, yeah? You know, it makes me wonder, is she getting all these gems from these like world artifacts and each gem is going to be like a key to unlock the big giant treasure that Marco Polo had found? Possibly. Okay. I was just thinking about the capital city of Germany, Berlin, and the Berlin Wall. 
It was built in 1961, but I thought it had been built earlier than that. I did too. I thought it had been built after World War II, when Germany was divided into two countries, East and West Germany. In 1990, I remember watching as the wall, a symbol of that division, was finally torn down. It was an emotional moment for many German people. So here we are. What do you think? Should we slip into traditional Bavarian clothing and go undercover? Sorry, Hawkins. No dirndls for me. Dresses with full skirts just aren't my style. You're welcome to try later hosen, though. I don't think they'd go well with my vest, and I might look a bit too conspicuous. Now, we need to check out that clock tower. Do you think Carmen's still there? We just need to be careful to check everything. You know what the chief says. Yeah, hmm. leave no stone unturned. I didn't realize his vest has a big giant orange tag that says ACME on it. How are you going to hide? Oh. When I toured Germany in college, I stayed in... Hmm, oh, there's something up there. What on earth are these? Are they German? I haven't seen a pair of these for quite a while. Olive Australian Garden breadsticks. Sticks. Some Aborigines there use them for making music. But what are they doing in Germany? Could it be another clue as to where the lady in red has stashed that statue? We love Olive Garden breadsticks. The Toy Fair. Mm -hmm. Oktoberfest is a festival. Yeah, we looked at that already. Oh, maybe we should go ask the clock guy. Maybe he... Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? We're wondering about the clock tower. Is there any way to... Get in? Through the door, of course. We used to have it propped open, but somebody slammed it shut. So, is there a key or something? Not a key like you're thinking of. My great-great-grandfather made that door, and he put together quite an amazing lock for it. Unfortunately, the five pieces of the lock were sold off as antiques many years ago. They're quite valuable, you know. Do you know where any of them are today? The only record I've ever found led to a collector named Annie Darby, who bought them back in 1885. She owned a hotel in Leadville, Colorado. You know, in America. Colorado? Not exactly around the corner. Carmen always does this. Leads us all over the world. Well, danke schön. Thank you so much, sir. You've been a great help. So we're going all the way to Colorado? Can we have that Feel hammer? Feel free to look around the village. This is a complicated lock. Mm. We'll need to locate all the pieces before we can fix it. Okay. So we need that. And... According to my briefing, this is a secret Acme field office. Oh. I'll go ahead and give the secret knock. The chief thought they might have something for us. Oh, new item. Yeehaw! An Acme <laughs> launcher. I used one of these. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh, you're going to love it. Be still, my beating heart. One more thing to carry that we'll probably never need. Just Shirley and Purcell? See. Is that you? Okay, great. So wait, what was that though? Because I do want to know. Oh my gosh, we only have... What is this? So we have one more to find. Franklin Grabber? Oh, to like climb up a wall? Oh, this is getting so official. All right, let's go over to... Oh, that's New York still. That's not Colorado. Hmm. Have you... The Hotel Darby. Every time I come to Colorado, I'm struck oh. by how huge the Rocky Mountains are. Don't think I would have hiked across the Appalachian Mountains and the Great Plains to mine silver here. The first pioneers that headed west sure were tough. Yeah, they were some rugged folks. Hmm, let's talk to her. We've got lots of interesting stuff to see here in the Darby Hotel. Feel free to look around. Okay. That's a mola from Panama. The Kuna Indians are famous for this Panama type of was on the list. So what's it doing in a hotel in Colorado? It was left in a room upstairs. I tried contacting the person who stayed there, but the phone number had been disconnected. Hmm. You don't say. Well. A German cuckoo clock. Hmm. I wonder if it was made in that Bavarian village. 
That's a photo of Mount McKinley in a... The bald eagle is... Those are the tools of the mining trade. There are all kinds of folks staying here right now. Check out our guest book. Hey, Hawkins, check this out. Look at this name in the guest book. Diane Goss from Irma, N.C. N.C.? That's North Carolina, right? But I've never heard of a town called Irma in North Carolina. That's because there isn't one. Look, rearrange the letters in Irma, N.C., and you get Carmen. And Diane Goss rearranged is San Diego. Oh. Do you remember this woman? Oh, sure. Diane Goss? She is really something. Insisted on staying in Annie Darby's room. You know, the room we recently opened? See, Annie built this hotel, a real colorful character. She traveled all over the world collecting stuff. Check out her room if you like. It's a trip. Here's the key. Up the stairs and straight ahead. Can't miss it. Sweet. Whoa. This cross Check stitch. Check this out, Hawkins. The cross stitch held the key to where Annie Darby hid the explorer's diary. Hmm. The diary mentions a great treasure, and Carmen's been at it again. She's stolen the cross stitch from the display case. I better jot that down in my journal. That nice. That explorer keeps cropping up. You know, Jules, you're starting to convince me that that explorer's treasure and Carmen San Diego are connected. Still being convinced? Sir, you've been to like everywhere in the world. You should be convinced. A note. Let's see if we can figure out what it says. Ooh, I okay. don't even need to use one of my gadgets to feel Carmen San Diego's presence here. Okay, um this one. This one definitely goes here. There. Uh, yeah, there. There. The Golden Lion. Hey, mm. that rings a bell. You got it, partner. We paid a visit to it back in Cape Town, South Africa. Yep. Looks like our friends at Vile have been doing a lot of sailing since then. What do you say, Chief? Good job, agents. Looks like you're one step closer to solving this case. According to my sources, the Golden Lion is still in Vile hands. You'd better see if you can locate that boat. It may be tough, Chief. The Amazon's a huge river. Okay. Great. So, what else? What a breathtaking sight. What a breathtaking sight. Okay, I guess that was pretty much it. Uh, Alright, we need to go. There's several places we need to go. Um, first, I think we need to go to Panama. Panama. I'm... There it is. The famed Panama Canal. When did they dig that? It opened in 1914. Took 10 years to build. Thank you, Agent Fact Finder. Let's see. The Isthmus of Panama... Agent Costa Fact Finder. Rica's to our north. Colombia is south. Just getting my bearings. Acme informants have noted some vile activity around here. Well, let's explore. Ah. Well, well, well. This just goes to show that nothing can be hidden from Shadow Hawkins, Ace Detective. It's a piece of that fancy lock back in Bavaria. Those vile agents obviously don't know who they're up against. But unfortunately, Carmen does. She may be wanting us to trail her. We just don't know. Hmm. Let's make sure there's nothing else. Okay. Anything over here? No, no, no. Although Alright, let's go traveling. Um, how about Brazil? So are there there may not be a lot of people who live in Brazil's Amazon basin, but I've heard there are plenty of piranhas. You know, man-eating fish. You're not going to catch me cooling off in this river. I've heard piranhas think Acme rookies are especially tasty. <laughs> that music gets me every time. We finally found it. The golden lion again. Let's check it out quickly. I have a weird feeling like we're being watched. Yeah, we don't know when the owners might return. Okay, what do we got here? It must be a piece of that fancy Bavarian lock. Oh boy, Carmen San Diego is going to be mad. But is she? She's smarter than that. I know she is. Okay. There's nothing else in this compartment. This boat's been doing a lot of traveling since Cape Town. Okay, so we're going like to have to go to Panama and Indonesia. Islands again and the Panama Canal. 
Look, Hawkins. The missing cross stitch from the Darby Hotel. Oh. And it's got some kind of poem on it. It must be the key to where Annie Darby hid the explorer's diary. And hidden in a didgeridoo. So, Jules, didgeridoo. why did Carmen San Diego hide the cross stitch didgeridoo, in an aboriginal didgeridoo. music maker? Could it be a clue? <gasps> I'll note it in my journal. And there's the chief. Something may be up. Agents, are you still on that boat? Hurry up and finish your search. My informants tell me a vile henchman has been spotted heading toward the river. Will do, Chief. Just a few places left to look. Is it really? Early in the days of June, the sun must pierce the wheel at noon. Through the center, the beam will trace, follow the rays to fire. I know what that is. That's that stained glass that was in there, wasn't it? There's nothing. There's nothing. That should be it, then. The ammo. With all that. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh. Look at that stained glass in the window, Hawkins. It's the explorer symbol. We're on the right track. It's exactly noon, and look, the light's shining onto this spot on the floor. Just yes. like the poem says. I'm going to see if I can lift up the floorboard. <gasps> oh. So, Jules, uh, where's this diary you're so excited about? Oh no, it looks like Carmen beat us to it. But she must have thought this was a good hiding place because she left a piece of the Bavarian lock. But I still wonder, could she purposely be leading us somewhere? Hmm. Well, right now this lock piece seems more important than that old diary. I'm going to stash it in my clue inventory. Okay, we don't have to return the... Oh, wait, did we already return it? I guess we did. Okay. Now let's go back to Panama. Back to Steve. You got Although. Okay, I didn't know if we were going to have to get on another ship here. But if not, then let's go to Indonesia. Don't tell me. There are all sorts of wild animals here that would be happy to eat me alive. I bet you we're going to find another gear here. Hmm. I feel like we're doing really good, you know, we've made some progress and we found a lot of gears in a good amount of time. If I were a gear, where would I be hiding? If we get really stuck, we can always call the chief for help. Oh, there it is. One <laughs> of the pieces of the lock for that Bavarian clock tower. Okay. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. I think we needed like five or six. So where to next? Mm, Brazil? I don't know. So I oh no, we already went there. New Zealand. My calculations tell me that in coming here, our calculations must have been off. So not here. Be Australia. The Would you look at that? Whoa. <laughs> Actually, it's officially called Uluru. That's its aborigine name. It's a mile and a half long and a thousand feet high, full of little caves. Some it's even really with tall. aboriginal rock paintings. Cool. Now if we can just figure out if Carmen San Diego's been frequenting the area. I bet you will find something. A lizards. Hi little lizards. There's a gecko over there on that rock. Australia <laughs> sure has a lot of different animals. Kangaroos, wallabies, poisonous snakes, poisonous frogs. I could go on and on. I honestly did not know that New Zealand did not have any snakes, and that's a fact that will forever live with me. Whoever stayed there found the Australian desert a tough place to live, surviving on less than 10 inches of rain a year. Hmm. I did notice a certain lack of drinking fountains around here. Salt bushes are common in the Australian desert. Apparently, they have a salty taste and make great cattle food. Try... Wait... Isn't the explorer's treasure hidden behind a huge boulder in the desert? Do you suppose... Hmm. Agent, I definitely think you should poke around that hideout. But be careful. If you're seen, you could blow the whole mission. Stay in touch. Don't want to do that. Keep out. Whoa. Dramatic music. It's a vile message container. I did a report on this stuff at the Acme Academy. Let's open it and see what it says. Looks like we need to head to the deepest lake in the world. Check your database. But I wonder, did they leave this here for us to find or did someone misplace it? 
Does Carmen want us to follow her? Nonsense. We're just ace detectives. She's probably quaking in her boots. I know where it's at. It's at Russia. Because I remember from well, earlier... I'm really excited to finally see Siberia, and especially Lake Baikal. So this is Lake Baikal, yeah. the blue eye of Siberia. Enjoying yourselves, agents? It is so amusing watching you trying to stay on my trail. But be very careful. I've planned other surprises for you, perhaps even more challenging than this Siberian wind chill. But even I don't want you to give up now. I'd miss your great entertainment. Oh, and watch out for the dingoes. Bye for now. All right, that does it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Cool it, Shadow. <laughs> She just wants to make us mad so we're not thinking clearly. We'll get her yet. And the treasure. I can't wait! Now, what did she mean about dingoes? What's a dingo? I'm not sure. Somehow it doesn't sound Russian. I'd best That's make Australian. a note of it in my journal. Let's actually read her, because uh, I haven't read it up. Mission 7. We're getting closer to finding out what Carmen's been up to. The Explorer's Diary can hold the key. If only we could find it. We found the missing cross stitch. The poem on it is a riddle about Annie Darby's secret hiding place. Carmen left us a video. She's mocking us, but I won't let it get to me. I've got to think. What did she mean by watching out for dingoes? And where is she? Let's just look up on the database real quick. Dingoes. Oh, I knew it. It's a wild dog in Australia. Roams the outback in the duck-billed platypus. The man will hatch for the next swims the rivers. Oh. Watch this. <laughs> Not bad, Hawkins. You're pretty good with that thing. Thanks, that was Rose. awesome. Uh, don't mention it. That was a total gear. Total Kim Possible move right there. <laughs> oh, this whole thing that was really funny. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five. Um Let's just go back to Australia, though, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Whoever, there's a the area. No, I don't think there's any dingoes around here. Obviously, a vile hideout, protected by some sort of security access device. Yeah, we don't know anything about that yet. I, my intuition tell. No, not there. Uh, um, maybe is it? Yeah, Germany. Do you know why? It was quite a hunt, but we've got all the pieces. Yes. Now let's put the lock together. Oh, let's Being do it. Mechanically minded myself, it appears that the gear with both kinds of teeth would fit in the center. That way, the gears with the same teeth would belong on the same side. Oh. It's good observation. <laughs> Um, I don't think that's right. No, no, no. But maybe it's swap. No, that's not right. Is it this one? Ah, there it is. What's Alas. this? Some old book. I thought we were going to nab Carmen San Diego and that Julius Caesar statue. Old mm. book? Let me see. It's the diary. The explorer's missing diary. Oh my gosh, this is it. It holds the key to finding his treasure. Hey, you're right. That's why she's been stealing the gems. The treasure is what she's after. It says that there are seven key Who items, said that? just like I thought. Yep. We've got to They're find that all missing key. statue of Julius Caesar, Hawkins, or we won't be able to open the lock. That's not our only problem. Where has Carmen San Diego hidden the gems? Mm -hmm. In that hideout, probably in Australia. Alas, the treasure is hidden. Neath a boulder within a lost town, unlocking this vault is forbidden unless seven gems can be found. Where are you 
upon if the gems have been gathered, they themselves are the key to the lock, and only if in the right order will they open the mass of rock. Uh huh. The treasures which once held the gems hold the clues to their order. It's true. To find hidden treasures of knowledge, three rings must what line up too. It's getting louder. <gasps> it's Garmin! Over the rooftops. It's it's her. <laughs> so you found the diary. Too bad you won't be able to use it. She wouldn't dare. She would! Look out, Jules! Take that! Need more practice, rookie? <laughs> Bye for now, Jules. Enjoy your little victory while you can. She's gone. So much for the Acme grapple launcher, Hawkins. Don't talk too soon, Jules. Check out what I snagged from Ms. Carmen San Diego. Whoa, lots of things. What's important? All of us? No, this card. Well, looky here. A vial access key card. We're getting and check in out that the secret. Symbol, Jules. That looks familiar. Hide out. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Go to Australia right now. Let's find... Obviously a vial hideout. Protected by some sort of security access device. This is it. All right, we're in. We've been working on this for hours. Well, this is it. This hideout certainly isn't where the great treasure is hidden. Maybe not, but look over there. The final item. You're right. The missing bust of Julius Caesar. And the missing piece to the puzzle of the lost city and the explorer's treasure. And you can bet your gadgets that wherever the treasure is, Carmen won't be far behind. That statue is an interesting piece of work. With the wheel symbol, of course, and no gem. Hmm. Julius Caesar was one of the greatest leaders of Rome. Under his leadership, the empire expanded to include much of Western Europe. Wonder how old this thing is. Around 2,000 years old. Around the height of Caesar's power. <laughs> she just pops in so randomly. Agents, congratulations. Excellent work. I'm sure that you're getting really close to wrapping up this case. I know you were disappointed not to snag Carmen San Diego this time, but you may still get your chance. Do you know where she is? Well, not exactly, but we have a good lead. Acme agents have reported some mysterious goings-on in a lighthouse off the coast of Scotland. It's supposed to be abandoned, but lately there's been reports of a light shining out on foggy nights. Interesting. A local fisherman mentioned someone matching Carmen San Diego's description. I want you both to investigate. We're on that, Chief, and we better not waste any time. If my hunch is correct, she's headed for that lost city. Not if we stop her first. Agents Hawkins and Argent out. Done. We did that one really fast. That was really good. It's wild to think that the United Kingdom once had the largest empire in history. They have a constitutional monarchy, which includes a parliament and a king and queen. Right. I've even felt the British influence. You know, the Beatles, Shakespeare. So, Carmen San Diego was maybe seen around here? Uh, that's hard to imagine with all this fog. It's kind of mm. creepy. I know what you mean, Hawkins. The fact that there have been many strange disappearances of lighthouse keepers through the years doesn't help any. What do you mean, strange disappearances? Oh, yeah. One of the strangest was at the Flannan Isle Lighthouse, where in 1900, three lighthouse keepers disappeared without a trace. Well, with the hundreds of lighthouses around the coast of the United Kingdom, I'm sure there are plenty of weird stories to go around. Let's just keep our minds on the job and then get out of here. Hmm, okay. Mmm, this is so spooky. <gasps> there she Surprise. is. And how are my two not so secret agents doing? Well, it's been fun so far, at least for me. But I'm afraid you really missed the boat back at the Alhambra. The secret was right there. Oh well, gotta run. <laughs> Catch me if you can. What? She's gone! Where'd she go? You should have checked the colors on the shield. Too late now. You won't get anywhere without this. Oh no, it's gone. Not if I can help it. Well, she's gone. But good work snagging the key, Hawkins. We may have ended up with just what we needed. That's me, Agent First Class Shadow Hawkins, always ready. But the link between Carmen San Diego and the Explorer's treasure... You're the one who... Agents, this is urgent. I need you to find out what that key is for. 
Now get to it before Carmen San Diego finds the treasure first. Sure thing, Chief. Okay. Oh. So, um, she said something about looking at the uh, shield and... What else did she say? Oh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's go to... Uh, uh, I don't know where to go first, France. Well, chasing Carmen after this lost treasure has sure led us to some beautiful spots. What about this? What's this? Another vile message capsule. And left out in plain sight, too. Strange. Hmm. And the second largest country, huh? I think I know where we can find that out. And near where the wolf howls. I know we've seen a wolf somewhere, but where? I know where to go. It's Canada. This is so beautiful. I can't even just imagine just traveling and going somewhere with such beauty. Okay, let's go. So, it's easy to understand how Quebec would have been such a strategic place to build a city. It has to be here. Yes. Vile agents must use this area as a drop-off point. And boy, did we find something here. It's some kind of code book on the seven continents and their sizes. Mm. Look, there's a clue about where to use it. Whoever left this by the phone made a big mistake. They may come looking for it soon. I'm going to make a quick note in my journal, but we better not hang around too long. We found a vile document listing facts about the continents. Now, why would that be important to a vile agent? Did I tell you that Quebec City is the only fortified city north of Mexico? Bonjour. Acme headquarters. Hmm. Well, I thought we were going to have to be here. Maybe not. You no clues here. Did you? That mountain over there is Popocatapetl, isn't it? Uh-huh. The volcano whose name means Smoking Mountain. Didn't anybody ever tell it it's not healthy to smoke? I think when you're that big, you can pretty much do anything you want. That's the way Carmen thinks, too. Thinks no one can dampen her big plans. But we're about to throw a little water on her fire. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Soccer seems to be popular the world over. Anything else? Small restaurants like that are called fondas. They serve popular Mexican food like tortillas, which are pancakes cooked on a griddle. Avocado. Next time you eat an avocado, think of Mexico. Next time you... Now that is a big bull ring. Oh, look, there's something missing here. Okay, so there's going to be something there. All right, let's keep going. All the Somehow, I don't... So not here. What about um Spain? Maybe. The explorer's villa again. The chief said she'll notify us here in Spain if any vile activity is detected. We better check this place out real thoroughly while we can. You're right, Hawkins. I have a feeling this place has more to tell us. Like this thing right here? Hmm. I wonder where this place is. Look at all those vineyards. Why don't you check your database for vineyards? Good idea. If this was the explorer's villa, it must have been someplace important to him. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that's where we were earlier with all those vineyards, right? It was France. Vineyard. Yep, okay. Well, let's go back I, to France. I love... Th this place is a little, uh, creepy to say the least. It is. I feel like there's something important here, but I think we're missing something we need. Yeah, so we don't have that yet, though. 1534. All right, what about Greece? Art, you'll probably be psyched about the food here in Greece. You sure? You know how. No, seriously, Hawkins. There's dolmathis, which are grape leaves filled with meat. Musaki, which is layered eggplant and meat. Suvlaki, which is skewered meat. They cook with a lot of olive oil. Whatever. I just hear the word food and I'm reassured. Now let's see if the professor is home. Well, the professor's not here. I hope he's okay. Hmm. Nice garland of garlic. The Greek diet. 
Lots of olive oil, fruits, vegetables, and fish. Okay, so, so far, nowhere is sticking yeah. out. What a wild place! Ooh, a paintbrush! I actually agree. The fabulous buildings at Petra were begun by the Nabataeans, an early Arab tribe, in the 5th century BC. An archaeologist brush! And it's got a name on it! Sounds Spanish to me. We should keep this. You never know where a clue may be found. Hey <laughs> Hawkins, we'll make an ace detective of you yet. Okay, so we have that. There seems to be a lot of Greek influence in the architecture around here. Anything over here? No. No, but I will say this has the same symbol as Do you see what I see above the door? We should check this out. Okay. Oh no. What happened here? The mosaic's broken, but it doesn't look like we have all the pieces to fix it. Maybe Carmen San Diego made off with them. She could have hidden them anywhere. Hmm. Man, we're missing a lot of stuff this time. So, so what do you think? Let's head somewhere else. Well, there really wasn't many other places I could go. The oldest lighthouse in the UK. It's deserted. Carmen San Diego must have abandoned this hideout for good. So we can't go there. Did you know that the? Hmm. Goodness, I really don't know where to go. I have to. Now that is a big bull ring. And then we can't get. This looks like the mosaics, no? That's Acme headquarters in Mexico, but that's Acme headquarters in Mexico, but there's no one there right now. Okay. So. Oh. It's one of the missing pieces from the mosaic. Hello. Sorry, we're still your stuff out of your window. You were commenting on the broken piece? It is from an ancient mosaic I found. In Jordan, actually. Four pieces I brought back with me for analyzing, you see. Oh, he Someday has them. Someday I hope to put the whole thing back together. We are Acme agents on official business. We need those pieces. I realize this is a little unusual, but... Well, we guarantee their safety. I do not doubt, but there's a little problem. I sent one of the pieces to a colleague. He is staying at the Chateau Frontenac. The other two pieces, though, I am sad to tell you, were stolen last night. Stolen? Oh, no. How interesting. But don't worry. We're experts at finding stolen items. Will you call your friend and tell him to leave the piece at the Acme headquarters near the hotel? It's in the abandoned carnival warehouse in the lower town. Consider it done, amigos. I will give you this piece and wish you luck. Hmm. So, where where's the hotel that he was talking about? Was that Canada? There's something. Acme has put that old carousel warehouse to good use as their new headquarters here in Canada. I hope someone's home. Yes. That's These what guys we are needed. great. They do so much more than just deliver cool gadgets. Okay, so we have two of those, but we're looking for two more. I I don't know about this place. Me neither. I think we may have taken a wrong turn. So not Argentina, okay. And not the UK. You know, one of these there seems to be a, we still we still need two more so i'm oh well we tried a didgeridoo cool so it's just not here so it's not australia it's not the uk it's we found one in canada it wasn't the us it wasn't argentina <laughs> It's like we're running out of spaces. Maybe we can catch some bullfighting while we're here in Spain. Hmm. Hmm. That's me. Oh. I wonder if Carmen's key fits the lock. Oh, okay. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Look at what's on the underside of the lid. We should check it out carefully. 
It's the explorer's coat of arms, the emblem of his family line. And the symbol again. Look, the wheel. And pictures of all the objects Carmen stolen. And we've hmm. recovered. That's important. Those flecks of paint suggest that this used to be colored. Hawkins, you're actually right. Carmen told us we should have checked the colors. Mm. And I know just the tool for the job. An Acme Photon Frequency Analyzer. Let's check with the chief. I'm on it already, agents. There's an analyzer being field tested in our headquarters south of the border. Go get it. But make sure you aren't spotted by any vile operatives. This case is really heating up. And Carmen San Diego can't be too happy that you've trailed her this far. Chief out. Hmm, okay, and then what's this? Whoa, that's a lot to take in. Are you keeping good notes? I'm glad one of us is. There are some interesting clues here that I'll note in my journal. They'll be there in case we need them later. At last, I rest in peace. My treasure is concealed. The treasure will be guarded and shall only be exposed by one with knowledge of the world, a gift I can't bestow. To all souls in the future, please learn from the past. This date holds the clue to where I placed the treasure last. Hmm. Well, that was helpful. Okay. Now that we have that. Wait, 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 wait. No, I didn't finish. Yeah. I forgot. We need the... Let's go pick up the photon frequency analyzer. The chief said we could get it south of the border. She must mean south of the United States border. Oh. Oh, yeah, because there was no one there yet. Acme's Mexican headquarters. The seasoned agent casually wraps out his famous secret knock. I love this part. <laughs> yes. For me, just what I always wanted. An honest-to-goodness photon frequency analyzer. I'm keeping this. Okay, now back to Spain. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Look at what's on the underside of the lid. We should... Okay, I'll analyze it. It'll only take a second. Bingo, a complete readout. Perfect. We can tell exactly how this looked when it was painted. Every section was a different color. That has got to be significant somehow. Mm -hmm. It's worth noting in my journal anyway. I wonder if there's anything else in this villa that may help us figure out where to go next. Anything else in this villa that will help us to... Probably, it was probably hmm. the painting. Hmm. I wonder where this place is. Yeah. Well, that place was in Isn't France, but we didn't have all the, the stuff. Yeah. Which I don't. Mm. All right, let's go back to Greece because. Well, the professor's not here. Still not there. I hope he's okay. Shipping and tourism are two of Greece's biggest resources. Hmm. Well, what should we do next? When I f let's start looking around, we could learn a lot. The magnificent, the Roman. We still don't have all the pieces we need. Hmm. In I'm stuck. And we couldn't go anywhere this way, right? 80% of the people in Quebec. Hey, can I order a pizza? <laughs> Acme headquarters in... No, I don't think it's here. So okay. Where else would it maybe be? I don't know. According... Let's... We sh
Now. Oh. Now that is a big bull ring. Well, look what was hidden in this wall. We're definitely keeping this. A mosaic piece. It's possible Carmen hid it. She must have been in a hurry, though. Maybe we're closer than we thought. Hmm. Okay, so we only need one more then. Now that is... I've always wanted to have a pinata on my birthday. Next. Is there any more hidden anywhere else here? Yeah, we've already been there. We went there. Did you know Mexico is the world's leading supplier of silver? Small restaurants like that. That might be the last place to be able to... Oh, no, look. The Aztecs and the... <gasps> oh, my gosh. There's the other one. On to this. What do you think, Chief? Good job, Agent. Oh. You're really making progress on this case. Keep up the good work. And every time, man. Well, well, Jules. I suppose you and your new pal think you're pretty smart. You may have uncovered some secrets, but the biggest one is still hidden. Why don't you just give it up? You'll never catch me. Ugh. Carmen San Diego again. The sooner she's captured, the better. Anyhow, as I was saying, I think you're on to something big here, but watch out. If you're getting close, Carmen San Diego's bound to try to stop you. Oh man. Okay. So now we have all the tiles. What? It looks like we've got all the missing pieces. So this one. Can I not drag it? It looks like we've got all the missing pieces, but before we can solve this, I think we've got a few loose ends to tie up. Oh. The chief can help us figure out what we still need to do. Chief here, that date that appears on the parchment, is there a similar date somewhere in France? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, With the bridge, right. right? The date on the bridge matches the one in the explorer's parchment. And look at what was behind it. What do you suppose all these mean? That goes to the stuff. Familiar. The parchment stated that we'll need them to unlock the secret. You can bet they're not just a random collection of stones. And they do have familiar shapes, don't they? What was it that parchment said? Yeah, what did it say? Let's see. The treasure will be going to all souls in the future. Please learn from the past. The state holds the clue to our place. At last, the treasure will be guarded and shall only be exposed by one with knowledge of the world. A gift I can't bestow. Wells, these. Who knows how long Carmen knew about this explorer? He must have been extraordinary. Well, that's right. He wanted it to be in order from largest continent to smallest continent, right? So smallest continent is Australia, so that one goes there. The largest is gonna be Asia, then Africa. Um, I'm trying to think which one looks like Asia. That's Europe. Europe is like the second. Antarctica, this kind of looks like Antarctica. This is Asia. South America is third or fourth? <gasps> that was it. Okay, now this is officially creepy. Look at that brass inscription. That's not a language I've ever seen. Hmm. We need to make a rubbing of it so we can take it someplace to figure out. Let's do it quickly. Maybe it's just me, but this place is really spooky. And Carmen San Diego keeps boasting about how she's always watching us. Right on. We should have the chief call ahead to my professor friend in Greece. He was a big help before. Hmm. Professor Lonsdale? Will do. Hear that, chief? I'm here. Good work, you two. All right, so let's go to Greece. Hmm. I wonder what clues we'll uncover here. A note from the professor. I hope he's okay. He still seems worried. Carmen San Diego must intimidate him quite a bit. Please take care and be careful of you know who. Hmm. 
The Nabataeans? We need to figure out which country they came from if we're going to beat Carmen San Diego to the treasure. The outer ring is twice the value of the middle ring. The middle ring plus the inner ring is equal to the number of gems. The inner ring is three less than the middle ring. Hmm. I all right. It looks like we've got all the missing pieces. Let's get to work. I have a feeling this is going to tell us something big. Hmm, I'm like getting like so like anxious and excited about what we're about to uncover. So this goes back here. This goes here. This goes here. And this goes here. I can't believe it. It's the map to the lost city. I'm sure of it. The wheel design must mark the location of the treasure. We can't be far from finding it now. I just hope Carmen doesn't find it first. <sighs> Can you get an image of the map? No problemo. I'll put it in my clue storage. We'll need it, that's for sure. We need to find this city. Chief, can you send us a chopper? There's one on the way. Awesome. Well, nice work, Jules. You too, rookie. But you both deserve congratulations. But stay focused, agents. I don't need to remind you that Carmen San Diego is slippery, and she's bound to be somewhere close. Keep your wits about you. The helicopter will be there in minutes. Chief out. <laughs> the helicopter. Finally, the opportunity I trained so long for. I'm ready to find the treasure and catch a master criminal. Hold on, Shadow. I'm eager too, but something tells me this may not be so easy. The computer's analyzed the map and has plotted our course. Do you see anything? I think I can see it on the scanner. Yep, we're right over the city. Looks like a big oh place. Oh my gosh, we're we so close to anticipation. We from the correct grid coordinate on the scanner. That'll mark the entrance for us. Wait a minute, the city, it, it's in ruins. Did you expect a bustling metropolis? Not exactly, but we may have a problem. The map is clear enough. Look. The wheel symbol must mark the entrance, but how can we find the correct grid coordinate on the scanner? Like this, we'll use the map and compare landmarks on the scanner. Then, select the grid square that matches the entrance on the map. Maybe we're holding the map the wrong way. If we imagined it in another orientation, it might line up with the picture. Oh, so I have to think about this being flipped? Oh my goodness. Hmm, that doesn't seem quite right. Look carefully at the map and figure out where the door marked by the wheel design is on the scanner. Where the door marked... Oh, this thing? Oh. Okay. So basically, it needs to be flipped. So it would be this side. So it would be like right here. Hmm, that doesn't seem quite right. No. Look carefully at the map and figure out where the door marked by the wheel design is on the scanner. Oh, here. Hmm, that doesn't seem quite right. Look carefully at the map and figure out where the door marked by the wheel design is on the scanner. So, like, I know it's right here because it's got these three pillars, like, right here, and it has the two things on the side. So, I just maybe... Yeah, yeah. Oh, we just missled it out. Wow, there it is. You were right all along, Jules. Carmen San Diego's trail led to something much bigger than I ever imagined. And look, now we know where the gems are. But we're not done yet, Hawkins. We still need to figure out a way to open this door. Okay, let's do it. Okay, okay. Ooh, I'm like so nervous right now. So the red gem goes here, the green here. Um. Oh, wait, hold on. This actually goes here. I don't know my colors. I don't know my colors. Okay, that's right. Okay, the outer ring is twice the value of the middle ring. The middle ring plus the inner ring is equal to the number of gems. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gems. And it's saying the middle ring plus the inner ring is equal to the number of gems. So, I mean, it could be like 
five and two or four and three. It could be either one of those. And it's saying that the outer ring is twice the value of the middle ring. And we do have a, a 10. See, if this was like a four and then a three, the inner ring is, oh, I didn't read that. The inner ring is three less than the middle ring. So it has to be five and two. Yeah, has to be five and two. So if this is five and two, right? And the outer ring is twice the value. So this, yeah, 10, five, two. That's what it is, 10, five, two. Oh my gosh, are you guys ready? Oh no, the, why is it still clicking? All right, this is it, you guys. This is what we've been waiting for. <gasps> Whoa. Would you look at that? <gasps> Carmen San Diego. Surprised, Mr. Hawkins? Of course you knew I was <laughs> watching your every move, or you should have known. So this is what you were after, a world treasure of knowledge, the history of civilization. But this belongs in a museum where everyone can benefit. You're depriving the world of... Not to mention the fact that you've broken the law in just about every time zone. Carmen, what's happened to you? You used to want to make the world a better place. That always amused me about you, Jules. Oh my gosh. Still a little frustrated that you can't figure me out? So now that we're here... What do you plan to do with us? Oh, I don't know. Lock you away somewhere where you'll never be found? Come on, Carmen. That's not your style. Why are we wasting time talking? The way I see it, we've captured you. Really? Ha. Huh. Like this. How dare you? Great job, Hawkins. I finally did it. Wait till the other agents hear about this. Sorry to ruin your fun. Go ahead, put all this in a museum. But you'll never keep me behind bars. Thanks for the thrill of the chase. I'll see you around, I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, look out! I can't believe it! I had her! How could she have escaped? Wait till the other oh agents my gosh. hear about this. Sorry, I didn't mean it to sound She really like that. got away. Seriously, Shadow. I wonder if she planned it this way all along. That's what I'm what thinking. Do you, mean? you don't know Carmen like I do. I wasn't kidding when I said she wasn't always the way she seems to be now. Maybe there's still some good in her. Maybe she masterminded these thefts so the whole world could benefit. Jules Hawkins just heard you've captured Carmen San Diego. Well, almost. I'll look forward to reading your final report. So, it sounds like Carmen San Diego got away. Again. I still think Carmen San Diego is a bad apple, rotten to the core. Mm, mm, Perhaps mm. we'll never know, but something tells me that this isn't the last we've seen of Carmen San Diego. Well, I'm ready for another chance to catch her. Well, sure, but Jules, Hawkins, hold on. I'm just getting word. Something big. It's got to be. Well, Hawkins, you may get your chance sooner than you thought. Well, what are we standing around here for? Let's go. Wait, was that the end? Oh, that was the end. Wow, leaving it on a cliffhanger at the very end to set us up for like another game, I'm sure. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was really, really good. I had a really fun time playing this for the first time. And just experiencing it at all. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? That was an incredibly fun game. Wow, I loved the puzzles. I loved the storyline, how cinematic it really was. I thought it had great, great vibes. So yeah, that was really fun. I love how it set it up too at the end. All, all so good. Loved it. But, um, you know, I always enjoy these Nostalgic Mondays with you guys because it's always so great to get a blast from the past, you know, and go back and reminisce on some things that we all love. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll catch you for some more videos sometime this week. Bye, you guys.